out there live chat okay we're live it's taco tuesday let's talk about it for a minute a little bit of late night silver talk here i don't know let's pick a random subject to talk about so always end up talking about the word so either way hard to keep on subject I always go ahead and up talk about the word again, so that's what I do. Can't help it. It's a habit. Done it for too long, I guess. Habitually do the same thing over and over and over and over and over. It becomes a habit, right? Daily. If you did something I ask people, if you did something religiously, how often would you do that? It's a good question. Ask yourself, if you did something religiously, how often would you do it? Would you just do it every Sunday? So, kind of a good question that you should, people could ask themselves, right? Most people don't, uh, I don't consider myself religious, but <clears throat> some people have called me that, but I'm not religious. So, On circumcision daily. Nice, nice, yeah. I just, uh, again, you've heard me ask people that before. Um, if you do something religiously, isn't that something you do every single day? <laughs> every day, cut it off. Circumcise the flesh. <laughs> cut it off. There you go. Is that scary? So, how are we doing? So... Daily cross, daily cross, that would be different. But again, <clears throat> I've said that for decades. I've asked people that people say they're religious, but they don't do something every day. Um, they do something once on Sunday. Maybe they go to church on, on, on the old Pegmas, Pegmas day or Christmas, right? The birth of the sun god, Mithra, the <clears throat> their orgy god, right after their seven day orgy, that god, or uh, what do they call them? Uh, eat, eat the birth of oh Christmas, yeah, their Christmas god, their Christmas Jesus, the other, the other Jesus. That hey, did you know there's more than one Jesus in the Bible? <laughs> Is there more than one there's more than one Jesus in the Bible most most Christians don't know that but we were talking about religion that's not religion I'm not religious most religions are are nonsense they worship the traditions of men <clears throat> yeah the orgy sex Jesus yeah after the birth of their seven day orgy sex festival from the 17th to the 24th born on December 25th there you go. See? The mass A, the eating of the flesh. So do you do it religiously? Do you uh do you else yeah? Too bad he didn't know what that word meant. Yeah. He is the truth. He said, I am the aletheia. That's the Greek word for truth. I am the hados, the aletheia, and the harizo. I am the truth, the way, the way, the truth, and the light, right? The truth. The aletheia. The way is the word hados. And that means to be in the same narrow way. The same narrow way is Christ. But most people worship the other Jesus and they were warned. Yep, don't do any religions here. No, no religions. We uh we find that they all worship the traditions of men. That he warned us in the book of Jeremiah, the customs, their traditions, their vanity, their vain, they're, uh, they're definitely not, that, that's the word, uh, vain means worthless. Vanity means worthless. They're worthless to him. <laughs> so go ahead and celebrate all your traditions of men. You're not getting anywhere. He don't like that. He divorced his bride for selling those same 
celebrations under another name. Feast of the Yule, Orgy Sex Jesus or Orgy King, Ether Orgy King, right? Born on December 25th. There you go. Christmas. <laughs> Christmas under another name. Feast of the Yule, Feast of the Saturn, the Saturnalia. Remember, it was an orgy celebrated as Christmas under, you know, same, same fellows, same festival, same celebration, <clears throat> man, you'd be hanging out and celebrating the birth of, of su a supposed Jesus. And that's the birth of their son, God, after their seven day orgy festival and where they ate the king. Ooh, silly rabbit tricks are for kids. <laughs> But that's okay. He said, <clears throat> come out of her, my people. Come out of her. Be in the world, but be not of it. So come out of her, right? Some of us that did these things growing up, that's all right. But come on now, it's uh, 5784, right? It's 5784. Am I in the wrong world or something? Did I like quantum leap into some other time or dimension or space here? It is 5784. We have the interweb, correct? If I remember right, there's the worldwide net. Oh, wait, you could research and find out these are all these are all the celebrations of the traditions of men. Oh, that's remember when Ahab married truth to a lie, right? When the sons of God came into the women of men. Women of men are traditions of men. Traditions of men are women of the men, right? When the sons of God came into the women of men, that was Jezebel. She worshiped other gods. The Christmas orgy Jesus God, remember? Under another name, the Feast of the Yule. She worshiped uh, Samhain, right? All Hallows' Eve, the, the dual pagan holiday. Oh, yes, Halloween. <laughs> no, Yahusha is not his name. Because you're putting vowels in the Hebrew with the letter Y, and there's no A, E, I, O's, or U in, B, in Hebrew. Musician, you don't sound like you've studied very much Hebrew. So um, <laughs> that's uh, your, your ignorance, I guess, is bliss, but that's okay. Um, there's no vowels in the Hebrew, okay? So if you want to start talking about what his name, he said his name is I am. And he said, when I return, no one will know my name and I will have a new name. Don't play the name game in here with me. He said, before Abraham was, I am. Oh, they haven't worshipped you in over 400 years. What should we tell them your name is? They know your God. You tell them my name is I am. His name is I am. Don't put any vowels in with his name with the letter Y. You look very ignorant. Don't yell at me. Okay, bye. See ya. Don't play the name game in here. Your, your ignorance is bliss. You try to say what his name and Oh, his name is this and Zeus and <laughs> all glory to Jesus Christ. All glory to Shiloh. All glory to I am. All glory to Yahweh. All glory to Yahushua Hamashiach. All glory to Yahweh. All glory to Yeshua. Don't sit there and sit there and say his name is this it, it, with the letter Y. That they, there is no vowels in Hebrew. And then Zeus and all that. Try to you're you're you got about this much education on that. So don't try to split hairs in here. He said, "I'll return. I no one will know my name." How about that? Boom! Let's put a cherry on it. I'll make I'll, I'll make a new name. Name it Shem. Or law or authority. Noah had three sons: Ham, Shem, and Japheth. But anyways, <laughs> come in here with your Zeus. Trying to throw shade on the name Jesus Christ. That's the translation of his name. Sure, the letter J didn't exist in the 12th century. We know this. Wasn't in last letter to the I. You're just trying to throw shade on it. All glory to Jesus Christ. Shiloh, the only begotten son of the lamb that David called the lamb of God. Ares, the ram. <laughs> Silliness, silly rabbits. Can't throw your Christian other Jesus in here. Don't throw your Jesus nonsense in here. You were warned about 
two Jesuses in the Bible. How about that? How do you start warning people that instead of worrying about his name? <laughs> when they worship in all the churches <laughs> all around the world. Doesn't even matter. Doesn't have to be in America. Doesn't even matter to the denomination. They all follow the Pope, the one with the Tammuz, the fish god, under the goddess, the, the, the sea god. Remember? Satan's son, Tammuz, the son of Satan. Uh, see, ignorance is bliss. Don't try to come in here and spread nonsense. <clears throat> this is in a religious channel. We don't do none of that. We hold our definition and study the text in the interlinear Texas Receptus. <laughs> so, I can't stand that. Oh, Jesus wasn't his name. Well, yeah, the letter J didn't exist, but that's the name of his name translated in, in the modern. And so all glory to Jesus Christ, you know. Yeah, that wasn't his name when he walked this earth, but you're just trying to cast shade. They do more, you know, the whole Zeus comment is what uh, got him thrown out of here. That's just he's got the his name. His name is Yeshua. Yeshua, you know, if you're going to spell his Hebrew name, spell it without any vowels. Y H V H Y H W H. Start from there. Start from the base. <laughs> so, but anyways, yes, the letter J was the last letter added to the English alphabet. So what? Big deal. <laughs> yes, there's a difference between translation and transliteration. Jesus is his translated name. Yes, that was at his name. No. <laughs> Does it matter? No. <laughs> You're trying to cause division. As you could be studying the gospel, doing a whole lot of other things and worried about, uh, I mean, difficult is the path, narrow is the gate, but still. How about leading somebody to the gospel? Tell them to take up their cross, teach them how to get a cross, show them what a cross is instead of trying to sit there and worry about his name. And Zeus, Zeus, <laughs> sons of God came into women. Those are traditions of men. Those are lies. That's why he got thrown out of here. Lies. <laughs> You must be shadow banned. Or are you shadow banned? Did you say something ignorant or say some unclean truth? Because Zeus, that's a bully, nephilim, study, <laughs> lies. When truth was married to a lie, then he come in here and, oh, his name is Yeshua and uh, Zeus. Get out of here. Nonsense. So I'm saying about taking about this much study and try to cram it all into one sentence. That didn't even work. Division. The sons of God, the sons of God are those that do the will of the Father. The sons of God are those that do the will of the Father. The word of the Father says that those that do the will of the Father are your brothers, your sister, and your mother. <laughs> so, sons of God. Uh. Red Jasper, never saw a human that color. Yeah, Red Jasper, <laughs> interesting. So, but that's where he's trying to go with that, with the Zeus thing, trying to make false lies. Nephilim, bullies, that's what they were, bullies. And that's what that is, all the nonsense. That's all right, everybody's going to, they're all going to get their their eyes in the skies, the eyes to the eyes in their skies, they're going to fall for it. They're going to fall for the flesh. Not going to remember what Christ told us, it's spirit. It's all spiritual. You fall for the flesh, you failed. Well, maybe they don't follow that. They follow that old eye for an eye, fleshy, you know. He said, let vengeance be mine, saith the Lord. He paid the price that so we didn't have to in the flesh. So, But people will fall for the flesh, and then they'll, they'll believe whatever their eyes see. They'll have no spiritual discernment whatsoever. It won't be in them. So aliens are not sons of God. <laughs> And neither are fallen angels because fallen angels are not doing the will of the Father. Remember, your brother and your sister and your mother are those that do the will of the Father. Sons of God. He's the Father. We are the sons. Your brother, your sister. Such perversion, such easily perverted. It's easily as perverted as all the thumpsters who forgot that Joe Biden is a pedo and uh, instead of a sleepy right oh no he's sleepy he let's just forget the whole time that you know we'll have somebody wrote throw shade <laughs> we'll have somebody throw shade on him and then everybody will just forget like that done so that's how quick people are to you know but you are warned of another jesus another gospel you know you're warned of this 
You know, we were told to discern all things, believe no man, believe no man, go after the meat. You know what that watery, watered down, milky, watered down version of the word. Go for the truth, study it in the original text, not religion. I was saying originally, you know, started with the whole thing about religion. So, so I guess somebody got off on that. I was saying it's hard to talk about anything because I, I don't do religion, but uh, <clears throat> yeah, we're all children of God, whether we like it or not, but uh, not of us are all, uh, no, no. I don't know if I necessarily agree with that fish sticks because in order to be a son of God, you have to be doing the will of the father. Your brothers and your sister and your mother are those that do the will of the father. And if you're not doing the will of the father, you can't be a son of God. So nine, not because he sends those are vessels of wrath fitted for destruction for the foundation of the world. And he throws those in hell or what is called the abyss. And that's a place of no knowledge. I vote for Biden because I vote for Trump's. I don't vote for none of those clowns. They're all tyrants and mag maga death and they all support war and killing of the women and children in other countries in a thousand three military bases in over a hundred uh and eighty countries so i don't support none of this stand down stop supporting these knuckle heads that don't they send all our money overseas didn't you see watch the biden speech uh immigrant 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 i'm gonna send your money over there i'm not gonna send any bodies uh uh, 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 Ukraine, 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 America, America, America. Yeah, your money gone. People dying in the streets, women, children, veterans like myself, and they're going to send this money overseas. Oh, that's real smart. And you're going to support it and vote for these clowns that are actually, if you think about it, a president is a mass murder, just gets to wear red or blue because they get to use the militaries to commit murder. They're, they're the leader, the commander in chief. So you're really voting for a mass murder. Good luck with that. Good luck with that. <laughs> Good luck with that support for they're all blood related to the queen. Keep voting for people who support death outside our borders. When our founding father said no in foreign entanglements. And then the father in heaven said, let vengeance be mine. So we shouldn't have anything outside our borders. Should we, according to God's law. Yep. So I rebuke these, this country and their filthy, disgusting ways that they want to take all our, they're printing $1 trillion every hundred days right now in America. <laughs> Where do you think that money's going? Are you getting any stimulus checks? You getting any of that? It's all going overseas. Still going to vote for these clowns. I don't care if they're agent orange or they're pedo Joe, you know, they're still on the same team and they still want you to take the jab and so that all their buddies can get rich. The ones they hang out with, not you. Remember what George Carlin said? It's a big club and you're not in it. So <laughs> no need to harp on it. I went, yeah, whatever. Tell me what to do. You get me fired up. I'll keep going like it all day and all night. They told me, no, don't try to save the world, Tracy. Stop trying to fix everything. You know, you can't save the world. I joined the military at 17 years old. <laughs> There's no such thing as free will. So I don't believe in, I think you were on a different uh, level there, Neptune. So God's will, that's called idolatry, right? If you do self-will and there's agape, that's if you love God and follow his will. Second John at six, those who walk and follow in his commandments. I'm a veteran and a prior police officer. Maybe I can understand a little better than most, but commandments, laws, those who walk and follow my commandments, who love me. That's God's will, love, agape. And then there's idolatry, self-will, latrio, to serve, ito, to see. No such thing as free will. The only thing that's free and sovereign and above the law would be the most father in heaven. Source, one source, the creator. One race, the human race, man and woman. Stop with your nonsense. It won't make any sense to me. Yeah, whatever. I'm not trying to change it, but you believe whatever you want. You believe this forwarded, twisted version of free will that's the exact uh wouldn't in that the when you go in the satan church and that what they say do as thou will uh-huh good luck with that <laughs> good luck with that i am muslim and i you're a muslim oh sorry about a muslim you're definitely going to hell 
you don't believe in the New Testament. You believe in that old, let vengeance be mine, infidels. And, oh, yeah, I remember uh, that all came from the Catholic Church. Never forget that. Know your history. No, God did not give you the power to follow him or not. God said, if I did not call out to their hearts to seek after me, they are such idolaters that not one of them would. You're speaking blasphemies. Yes, you are. God calls who he chooses to his heart. Yes, God says, I will call. Yes, God, yes, if I did not call out to their hearts, not one of them would. You do not know the word of God. You're speaking blasphemies. Not one of them would. Disgusting. If you just take the word and you just give it your own spin. You're like a harlot, like the mother of all idolatry, like Babylon, founded on let us make us our own name, our own law, our own shem. Idolatry. Fine example of that. God chooses who he chooses to call to his heart. He rebukes our heart. If I did not call out to their heart to seek after me, not one of them would. Oh, dear. So you don't get to choose. God chooses who he, yes, in the face. Can't stand it. You watch all that lollipop. Not, yeah, that's the meat right there, not that milky water down version you want the meat you just got the meat chew out the bones and spit them out if you don't like them eat the meat and chew out the bones i ain't gonna give you the watered down version you're just just clean speaking unclean truce <clears throat> god chooses who he calls to his kingdom he's sending most people to hell god doesn't love everybody god only loves his bride stop with your blasphemies He chose them from the foundation of the world. That's what he said. I create vessels of wrath fitted for destruction from the foundation of the world and vessels of mercy. Those I will call out in that Lamb's book of life. Since the New Testament, if you're under that testament, otherwise you're going to be pulled out of the dust and the ashes when the dead rise, when the seventh trumpet sounds, and, the seventh, and you'll be pulled and judged by the old. 613 laws, statutes, commandments. I know the book. I know its judgments. I know he rebukes whoever he chooses and calls it to him. There's no such thing as being saved. You can't go to God. There's no, you know, accepting Christ. That's nonsense. It's hocus pocus. It's another Jesus. And another gospel that you were warned about. You just don't like his word. You call me, you call me crazy, but uh, that you just don't like his word. Take it up with him. So you can call me crazy all you want. What do you think you were saved or something? You got you got die, die float your boat. Wah, wah, wah. Did you get saved somewhere in your lifetime or something? That's not what the word saved. The word sozo. And that means he says you have to be carried from beginning point to the end. To an ending point. Oh, to be carried from one point to an ending. But oh, we must endure to the end to be saved. Maybe that's what he meant. Sozo. Oh, so you can't be saved anywhere. Oh, I'm going to come to Jesus. <laughs> you didn't get saved by a man. Exactly. Wah, wah, wah. You know, sorry. I know. No, but the priest saved me and I thought I gave my thought I came to Jesus. You didn't do anything. You didn't do anything. God chose who he chose for the foundation of the world. Vessels of wrath and vessels of mercy. God does not love everybody. He only loves his bride. He only loves, and the only people under that Old Testament, you think about it, you weren't under grace and mercy, saved by salvation. You were under the Torah, the Jewish law, 613 statutes and commandments. So you better be happy and edify his father that, you know, the father that he came back to save all flesh. And it's not just the house of Aaron and the Levites now. And that he's come back to save all flesh, but not everybody. <laughs> everybody no <laughs> just a little bit of everybody yep i've read all those books i've read muslims that's written by the catholic church christianity that's not a thing that's that's an invention of uh what what, what book is christianity i read the interlinear texas receptus the canonized versions i've read the quran that's muslim that's made by the catholic church 
uh, that's lunar worship. Look at their look at their flag. They have the moon and the star worship, star and moon worship. That's all Muslim is. They don't believe in Yahushua Hamashiach. They don't believe he's the the anointed, the Christ, the Hamashiach, right? They don't believe he's a. They mentions in the Muslim in the Quran that there's Jesus Christ exists, but he's just a prophet. So sure, I've read that. Um, Christianity. Uh, the devil knows the word of God better than most Christians. Well, neither better than all Christians. <laughs> so, um, yeah, Muslims and all, there's many religions, Buddhism and all, they don't believe in Christ. So they're going to hell. Why would God, somebody that doesn't go through the New Testament, that's the Old Testament. He came and fulfilled the law and made a New Testament. Let vengeance be mine, saith the Lord. And they go by the Old Testament. So that you can't be, that's not, you know, the only way to the Father is through the Son. These people think they can go and get there without going through the sun. Well, good. We'll see if you follow those 613 law statutes commandments. And you just want to erase what he what he did by having himself nailed to that tree that day and 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 crucified, hands and feet, beard ripped out of his face, crown of horn, thorns smashed into his skull, stuck like a like you know, like like he was an animal or something, bled out. And and you know. You're going to take all that away from him, huh? Stretch back where the only way he could get a breath of air was to raise up on his nails feet, right? Yeah, right. Take that away from him and good luck getting to his kingdom. I don't care about your 13 virgins, none of your silly nonsense. All these other religions are just absolutely nonsense. You cannot go to the Father without the Son. Their only way and the Son is through the New Testament where you have to be saved by grace and salvation and those who walk and follow my commandments take up their cross daily and narrow self and die daily and cut off the flesh circumcise it the outer man spiritual but they don't do none of that yep you know all i'm just saying john is that they don't believe in christ muslims don't believe in christ so how you can't get to the father unless you go through the son under this testament we're under i don't do religion and that's not Winner, I don't do religion. So all these people, all these religions that don't go through Christ. Good luck. <laughs> good luck. You believe whatever you want, right? Believe is not a thought in your head. It's a verb. Boom. Faith is a noun. And faith without works is dead. So, but. Silly religions, silly rabbits. There were men facing the east 300 years before Christ had ever risen, worshiping the rising of the sun. Silly pagans, silly Catholics. Catholicism is just a blending of Christianity and paganism. Anybody who knows their history knows that. That's just Constantine thinking he was going to lose his empire to the northern tribes. He was slaughtering Christians, and so were the pagans. And he's thought that he, you know, couldn't slaughter him fast enough. He was going to lose his kingdom. So he blended paganism with Christianity, modern day baptism, you know, Southern Baptist, Church of Christ, all of it. Latter day, it's all the same thing. Paganism blended with Christianity. So, <clears throat> Solar Jim in the Ozarks of the Missouri. Nice. All right. Uh, Tracy out here in the high desert Oregon outback and I got the turbine going too so solar Tracy crazy spacey Tracy out in the 2.5 million acres of the largest dark sky sanctuary in the whole wide world yes good spot to see the stars out here as well yes dark sky sanctuary 2.5 million acres out of the light belt out here in the high Oregon desert outback off the grid solar Thanks for coming in. Thanks for being solar and not being hooked up to the grid. Somebody's not on the stupid meter. Are you on a stupid meter? Ask yourself, am I on a smart meter? And is that very smart? Hmm. Meter. Smart. Hmm. That's kind of like an oxymoron, isn't it? But anyways, thanks for coming in, Solar Bill. That point is, oh, yeah, the whole thing about the whole birds, it's, it's pretty silly, isn't it? That's all. Whatever. That's okay. Let me, you know what? I ain't trying to change a goat into a sheep, guys. That's not, it's already predestined. God chose his bride. Doesn't matter. I only rebuke unclean truths. 
you're the Mark Twain waiting for the solar eclipse. You'll answer solar questions. You can't answer solar questions, Jim. I am the expert. There's not a better expert on this planet than me on solar. How many solar eclipses do you have tattooed on your body, Jim? Jim, how many solar eclipses do you have tattooed on your body? How many solar eclipses do you have written on your whiteboard? Oh, I forgot. You don't have a lesson or a study on that. And you don't have any tattoos of solar. Oh, wait, never mind. I can't show you all my solar eclipses on my body. Zero. Okay, cool. I'm, I have been appointed as the number one, not a better than anybody else. There's nobody on this planet that has declared any louder and more descriptive than crazy Tracy about the eclipses. Gee, it's kind of funny. I have these things tattooed on my body. Um, interesting. <laughs> so interesting, interesting, interesting. But hey, if you know something about the eclipses, that's good because it's good to know there's others out there. So again, I'm not trying to one up you, but it's kind of my thing. You know, I don't know anybody else has these eclipses tattooed on their body from seven years ago when they first wait a minute. So, <laughs> yep, April 8th, there it is. Boom shakalaka, the Aleph symbol. So go back on my channel, watch. There's nobody doing this decode better than myself. Not better, I think, in more detail than what I've done. So nobody's exposing the va-va-va, the Unleash of the Beast, the triple X. X marks the spot, XXX. X, X. I am the Aleph and the Omega, the Ox. The beginning and the end, X marks the spot. So it's all, it's littered. The Alice symbol, seven years of completion to complete the, the letter A over negates the letter alpha, negates in the Greek alphabet, whatever word that follows. So, nope, seven, seven years, the number of completion to be completed. All these things, it's all complete, uh, littered with their foreshadowing. Seven Salem's as it traverses through seven Salem's and comes out on the 33rd parallel on april 8th right no that was eight, that was august 21st 2017 <laughs> seven years 17 to the 24th is seven years to be completed seven so go watch the lesson i don't think there's a more complete lesson on the internet right now anybody doing it going back and showing you that during the time of christ the horizo eclipse a star upon a star to eclipse a marriage, a union between a two celestial bodies. So anyways, yes, I have many eclipses tattooed. Even that 217 red dragon diagonal eclipse. So, yep, follow this channel. You just happen to stumble in the right spot. All glory to God. Give him the glory. It ain't me doing it. It's him doing it. He makes me do it. <laughs> Thanks for coming in. Good to see you. I won't be on here too long tonight, but I uh, thought I'd come in and have a little taco Tuesday talk. Let's taco about it. I only eat tacos on days that end in Y. Only on days that end in Y. So let's talk about it. <laughs> right? That's what, that, what the heading said. Let's talk about it. I think it said something about silver talk. So. Anyways, are you guys uh, taking this silver away from the military industrial complex? I hope you're taking this away from the military industrial complex. It takes silver to fund these wars, guys. It not just takes oil. It takes silver to run all these machines for real. This is a, this is a very serious thing that I've been talking about. I really wish I would have learned this a long time ago. Really. I need to get on this a lot hard, more hardcore and start selling more of my crap that I don't need and buying this and getting this so DARPA dogs don't kick down my door. It takes silver DARPA dogs, silver in the DARPA dogs, those that mechanics to kick down your door. It takes this silver to do it. The drones to bomb people in other countries. It takes this silver to do it. Tanks. It takes this silver. Bearcats, this silver. This phone, this silver. This computer, this silver. This iPad, this silver. This iPhone, this silver. This Android, this silver. This, yes. This, ta this tank, this, you get. <laughs> so please, 
I, I know there's other things you could be buying right now, like water filters, which I recommend. You have food and that. But then when you have all that taken care of, please, guys, this is something that we've been funding. I'm a veteran, and I feel so guilty for knowing that this is what – it's. this is more important than oil. This is more important than oil. Do you understand? This is what's funding all this AI tech wars that we've been going for years. It takes all the tanks have always had this in it. All the drones, all the aircraft carriers, all the fighter jets, everything. This funds war. And I don't think Christ wanted us to be killing each other with silver. They'll throw their gold and silver in the streets. 500 ounces on top of your head. That's a smart... That's a, that's a monster box of silver, brothers and sisters. A whole monster box of silver on your head. No mas. Gone. Gone. So, again, I hope you're... When you have the availability to start just buying a little bit at a time, I'm not telling you to go crazy on buying anything for investment. It will be worth something. I'm not telling you to, to buy it to get rich. I'm telling you to take it away from the military. Take it away from the military. Take it away from the military. They can stop killing, performing mega death. If they don't have enough silver, they can't fund the wars, guys. And they want to go all techie tech tech with DARPA dogs and Terminators coming to your door. Well, hey, you know how you stop the Terminator? I wonder how many ounces of silver in a Terminator. That's the question. Hashtag how many ounces in a silver in a Terminator. Hashtag how many ounces of silver in a, in a DARPA dog. Come on, those are good questions, guys. Ask yourself that. I ask the hard questions. I ask questions that nobody asks. That questions may, may have never been asked, you know, by the general public, the GP, right? You guys want to come inside, puppies? Come on. Come on, boys. Good boy. Come on, doggy. There's the good boys. The good kids. Oh my God, you hear what this guy said? Yep, buy the silver. Buy the silver, take it away from the DARPA dogs. Take, star, take silver to run uh, AI drones. What did I was, I was, uh, um, oh yeah, hey, takes, uh, this takes silver to make solar. There's better things we can be doing, but do you think God ever wanted us to take his money, his metal, and kill each other with it? I'm really bringing up a very valid point. No, those aren't dark. Those are my dogs. <laughs> but come on, guys. How much? How many of these ounces of silver does it take for a DARPA dog, man? I, you know, if there's 500 ounces of these in the tip of a smart missile, 500 of these in the tip of a smart missile, guys, that's a monster box full of silver, man. That's crazy that we've been using this metal to fund wars. That's insane. Um, what was I? I was reading something earlier about something that had metal, another silver. What was I reading? I was doing some studying. Darn it. What was I studying there? It was something with the military. Um, oh, um, there was a ton of silver in a, darn it, what was it? It was something military. Go on, Tygo. It was one ton. It was in a, darn it, what was I, what was I, I'll remember, I'll stop thinking about it. Oh, uh, what was it? One ton of silver in a... Yeah, you put silver in their water. I put, I have silver in my Berkey's. I have a silver, I have a silver buffalo in the top and a silver buffalo in the bottom of my Berkey water filters and I don't have to clean them. They stay nice and clean. They don't get the, um, they don't get the, the, the mold and the stuff in them by keeping silver in them. So it's an antimicrobial, -micro, my, antibacterial. Come on, what was it? It was a whole ton. 
a whole ton of silver in a it was for something really large no it wasn't it was a it was something else it was a full ton of silver i was reading that that I was going over that China is buying up gold again. I was going over and I was researching that China has been buying up gold like crazy. India is buying the little gold shot one ounces. Um, they say it can what silver programs and yeah, huh? What is it? What is it? What is it? It was a ton. One full ton of silver in a... Come on, mine. What's going on? My brain is uh, normally not... I got too many files going in because I was studying three different things when I, before I came in here. Um, it took me a little longer. I'm always trying to study, but... Um, all right. Never mind. I'll forget about it. <laughs> I'll forget about it. Uh, no, gold's not more useful than silver. Gold has very little use. It's final form. You don't know anything about precious metals, apparently, and I'm not just have some thick skin in here. Silver has way more usages than gold. One day, silver probably will be worth more valuable than gold because it has way more usages than gold. <laughs> Uh, you could sit there and go on for for on and on about how many of the different things that silver is used used in, and how many different things is gold used in. Nope, uh, wrong. Silver is the most widely probably used metal on the planet. It's in all circuitry. It's a uh, silver is the most reflective, most conductive metal on the planet. That's why they use it. So there's no such thing as Agenda Twenty Thirty. That's not a thing. Don't say that. That's not a thing. Agenda 2021, sustainable development for the 21st century. You're spinning it off into that other nonsense. God, where do people do that? Why do they, not you, but this, uh, it's used in medicine. It's an antimicrobial. It's used in uh, photovoltaics. It's used in every kind of circuit. If it has a switch in it, it's probably got silver in it. Um, it's got, um, they put it in band-aids. They weave it into band-aids. Um, it's used in clothing. It's used in, um, developing a film. Um, it's again, uh, think about anything it's used in the military industrial complex for every single drone, every computer. <laughs> Yeah, Chad, give your beast, give your authority to a guy who decorates his health with Satan. Good for you. Never forget, Chad, that you're a dumpster. You forgot that Joe Biden, he that that Donald Trump ran cover for him the whole time, the whole time. Instead of calling him creepy Joe, he never once called him creepy during the campaign. He called him sleepy. So he ran cover for him. Just so you know, you're thumping on somebody who covered for a creep. Just so you know. So that's pretty creepy if you ask myself. Yep, you got lulled to sleep, didn't you? The whole time you forgot. It's been how long? And you never once, you were more worried about his mental capability than where he was putting his hands. Shame on you. Shame on you. Shame on you. Seriously, to be lulled to sleep that fast, you went from, it was Creepy Joe to Sleepy Joe. As soon as your thumpster said it, you, you, you drank that Kool-Aid and then you slammed that, thump that hopium and I'll tell you what, you didn't even, you totally forgot the whole time. And it's been how long now? Weak, weak Trump thumpster Americans. Let this go on this long now. These people call themselves American. They just let that guy be in office for how long? And not one of them were, they were all worried. Hey, oh, he, you didn't even watch a State of the Union address, did you? No, what'd you say there about DARPA dogs? You didn't even watch a State of the Union address, did you? All right, you're out of here, an idiot. Final. You're you're just a. Sorry, I gotta call it like it is. You're what you're saying is just stupid, man. Get out of here. So, 
Why would I vote for somebody who decorates their house with Satan there in 1945? Do you know that that Donald Trump decorates his house with Satan? Are you still going to vote for him? Are you voting for him? <laughs> so, nonsense, guys. Whatever. I ain't trying to worry about thumpsters tonight. You guys go ahead and vote for your candidate. His house is decorated with Satan. If you don't understand that, that's fine. You'll get him back. He will be reelected. He will be reelected as the 47th president. You'll get your thump back. So don't you worry about it. But that doesn't mean his house is still not decorated with Satan. Whatever his house is decorated with Satan. Don't believe it. Don't blame. Don't believe it. You're thumping. And you still think Joe Biden is something's wrong with him mentally. So kind of strange. If you ask me. I find that more ironic that that all these Trump supporters, all these Trump supporters forgotten that Joe Biden was creepy Joe, creepy Joe Biden. And 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 all it took, all it took was um, all it took was for Donald Trump to campaign, campaign and, and call him sleepy instead of creepy. He didn't even one single time, one single time call him creepy. There you go. Just deal with the facts. You do whatever you want. This America, if you're American, you can vote for whoever you want. But I'm telling you, I think that's insane. That's insane. That's a fact. That's a fact. So. Just look at it that way. I don't think any, I try to bring things that nobody else, you know what I'm saying? Rattle some more metal near the mic. You don't like that sound of silver, do you, in the background, huh? It's bothering you, huh? You don't. That's what it sounded like back in the day when you're walking down the street in your pockets. That's clanky. Man, we better give him something that sounds clanky. You better give him an IOU. Give him a debt note. That'll They'll fall for that. <laughs> Go look it up yourself, Matthew. This is 5784. There's a, a grip load of evidence to show that his house is decorated with Satan. I don't need to prove anything or evidence. Go look it up. Your, this is 5784, man. Come on. Oh, sorry. My bad. You're, go by that. Your pegging calendar. Um, your lunar pegging calendar. Uh, 2024. My bad. I forgot. Yeah. Remember, he will be allowed to change times and seasons. <laughs> What do you think the age is? That's disgusting. You're filthy, Chad. Get Chad out of here. That's disgusting. Sickening people, guys. But anyways, think about that, guys. Let's not be religious. Let's not be political. Let's just think about this for one second. If he if he decorates his house with Satan and he calls himself a Christian, that might be something you might want to look into. And if you could prove that, would you still vote for him? Okay. That's fact number one. Fact number two, he said he was going to put Hillary Clinton in prison. And she sat three bodies away from him at his inaugural dinner. And he made how many tens or hundreds of millions of dollars? Go look it up. Go look it up, Zach. There's tons of information on this that I'm not making anything up. I'm not just saying it. I'm not saying it. How's that not religion? The love of Lucifer. Yeah, we see you love of Lucifer there, George. Good for you. This is this is 2024, guys. You can do your own research if you can't find it. It's not hard to find. It's been out known for decades. It's been in movies. His house has been in movies with the same decor. So whatever, believe whatever you want. I don't care. I don't, I don't live in the age of deception anymore. You can sit there and fight with yourself. You're not going to sit there and fight with me. You can find it off and on the internet. It's like, oh, it's on the internet. It's got to be true. You can find it off and on the internet. <laughs> uh, yeah, there you go again, George, with your love of Lucifer. LOL, your love of Lucifer. I got it. And then you talk about Christians. Christians are pagans. Just like Satan. They worship and follow the traditions of men. So you're just trying to make sure you're you're in a shed. No, I'm not in a shed, you moron.
Okay, look at this, look at this. If you have all this info, but you wanted to look us up, that must be BS. Oh, we got to do some work for ourselves. We got to get up our, off our tail and actually do something. Oh, no, you got to spoon feed me everything. You got to give me everything. You ought to give me... Go look at it. This is 2024, man. 5784. You can get there's there's floods of information of this right now. You know, like I said, whatever. How about we'll focus on the fact that he said that uh uh he said he was gonna put Hillary Clinton in prison. Lock her up, lock her up, Hillary Clinton for prison, Hillary Clinton for prison, and then she sat three bodies away from him at his inaugural dinner. What is your answer to that? Why would you vote for a guy who says he's going to put Hillary and Clinton in prison and then she sits three bodies away from him? the very next day? He praises not just Hillary, but all of the Clintons, all of the, he pray all the Clinton. Right. So that's fine. Vote you. This America. You can vote. But why would you vote for somebody who does something like that? It's crazy. It's insanity. So I wouldn't vote for none of these. They're all on the same team. So. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. Look at Jim with the flatter Kim drills. Interesting. <laughs> hey, I'm a farmer. I wear my hat when I farm. I use this as a service hat. So it's a real hat. Real man's got to wear a real hat. So. Yes. Thanks for not calling it agenda 2030. It's agenda 21 sustainable development for the 21st century. Somebody's freaking on it. I don't know. Did you say something to me? I don't answer every question. I don't see every question. So what was your question there? Your name's Patriot. Sorry to rebuke you. Patriotism is pride. And so I'm not patriotic or so you've already been rebuked by your name. <laughs> What's my idea of a godly man? Um, one who's willing to deny himself and take up his cross daily and to be condemned by this world spiritually, be hated by the world and 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 not loved by the world. One who's willing to be um, go through suffering and stand up against the apostasies of, of lies and demons, ones that distribute fortunes and unclean truths. That That's a man of God, one who's willing to stand up for the word and be persecuted for it. That's what he said. Who shall ever come after me? Let them deny themselves. So I can't do what I want. See, I want to lay into these people, <laughs> but I can't, you know, he says, be meek, not weak. So there's a difference. I have to use his word, judge with righteous judgment. So a man of God would judge with a man of God would judge another man righteously and not condemn them. That would be a man of God. He would go out and judge another man. Not this. Oh, you're not supposed to judge. That's not, that's a lollipop Christian. That's the other Jesus in the other gospel that you were warned, warned about. No, meek is not weak. <laughs> With a name like weasel, you probably think meek is weak. <laughs> yep. Yes, we be judges. Yep, that's right. You live by the sword, you die by the sword. You're supposed to judge righteously, but not condemn a man. <laughs> These lollipop Christians, they love their version of the Bible, don't they? watered down that man said god said is an abomination if for a man to lie with another man so <laughs> thank you thank you jews owns blackrock there we go somebody said something what do we all have about baptist because there's no such thing as water baptism there's no such thing as water baptism. Do your do your homework. Just to find the word baptism, baptids or bapto. Gee, you won't find the word water in it. So you Baptists believe in water baptism, and that's a heresy. It's a tradition perverted by the Pharisees in their halakha. Probably you've never heard that in a Baptist church, but you should go study just that term alone. I'll give you that one. Here, I'll give you one more. I'll give you two. Haggadah and halakha. So take those two words and you'll realize why your religion of baptism is a heresy. And it's it, and there's no such thing as water. We are supposed to be washed clean, our garments white, spotless in the blood of the lamb. 
So it, it doesn't even matter because it's spiritual, so it ain't water or blood anymore. <laughs> Do some homework on it there, the Patriot. You don't understand the Halak or the Gada. I just gave all you can go go see Brother Jim at Grace and Truth Ministries. Grace and Truth Ministries and look up baptism. I'm not going to go in it. I already did. It's not in the definition. It's not in the definition. So, boom. So, it's a perversion of the water traditions of the dipping of the hand, washing before they would go into the church. Remember the water, you had to be water baptized, right? They say, you know, to enter into the, you know, dipped in water to enter into the nation of Israel, two turtle doves at the altar and circumcised to the flit. It was a perversion. They perverted it. So, well, you can look at whatever you want. It, there's not in the definition. So, the word bapto or baptizo is to be covered with the pitch, stained blood, red dye. So, it's that's not study why. I'll tell you why. Because he was going by their halakha, okay? They thought he was Jesus of Nazareth. He was Jesus of Bethlehem, okay? There's certain things he said and certain things he did. not I've studied for decades, okay? John baptized Jesus in the water so they would go by their traditions. So they'd have to listen to him, study. There you go. I just gave it to you. Of course, he he baptized him in, in, the, in, in Jordan, in the river. So define the word. Bapto or baptizo. That's the Greek word for baptism. You will not find the word Water. <laughs> it's not. Water baptism is a Pharisee tradition, perverted. So you're not baptized. Baptized is a process like repentance or salvation. It doesn't, you can't dip something in water. It's to be completely overcome. Study baptism. You can't dip yourself in the water. It's to be overcome. <laughs> So you can't dip something in there. I could go dip myself in the water every day and I'd not overcome, completely overcome. Think of a cucumber. You put it in the in the brine and the pickle. Does it become a pickle if you dip it in the water? You can leave it in there for an hour. <laughs> no, they're the same thing. They take it, they're a process you don't know anything about. And if you say anything, again, Patriot, in unclean truth, I'll rebuke you out of here because baptism and salvation are exactly the same thing. They're a process. You must endure to the end to be saved. A process. That came from his words. You must be completely overcome. That's not a dipping. Say anything else in here, an unclean retreat, and I won't let you in here ever again. I rebuke your name. It reminds me of pride, and pride is a sin. Patriotic pride i rebuke you again get him out of here i don't want him in here anymore i don't like people who just hover over this unclean truth i know you don't care bye because you're a patriot and you have pride pride is a sin remember the wages of sin is death i'm not i'm not spotless i'm not blameless i'm just telling you the, the nonsense if you sit there and tell me that baptism and salvation aren't the same thing. You don't know anything. and You've never studied either of them, obviously. I just gave you the definition. Sozo is the word salvation. To be saved, you must be carried from an ending point, beginning point to an ending point. Sozo, salvation, to be saved. It's in the definition. You leave the definition, you leave the truth. Just like bapto, baptizo. Did I say to be covered in water? No, you must be completely overcome to be baptized completely overcome so if you stick a cucumber and and brine and you stick it in there for an hour is that now a pickle well then you could get baptized every day couldn't you in brine is a is a cucumber huh no that's a water dipping that's not a baptism you have to be completely overcome you have to be left down in fiery trials suffering tribulation the lipsis is the apostle paul said we must go through much Talipsis to be with the Father. The lipsis, tribulation, long suffering, the narrowing of self. It's a process. There's no such thing as water baptism. It's perverted. So what? You don't like it? Look up the definition in the original text it was written and then come back and try to start something. 
Baptism is a process and it is now spiritual. And if you, if you, you must be completely overcome. So it's not water, it's in blood. And now it's spiritual blood, the blood that he paid. It's not flesh anymore. That was all blotted out in the handwriting into ordinances. So what those people that do that water baptize, I baptized my son in water as a Catholic. I was baptized a Catholic myself. No, I wasn't. I was dipped in water. I dipped my son in water. What an idiot thing to do, but whatever. I was way young in my faith. He was a child over 20 plus, almost, you know, five years ago. So, uh, yeah, you can't, that's, to be completely overcome, if I leave that pickle down in the brine, it's going to take a while. No, it's not a pickle. It's a cucumber. It starts as a cucumber, right? See, you don't just become a pickle by being dipped in the, in the brine or in the water. It's a process. You have to be completely overcome to be baptized like salvation. You must endure to the end to be saved. That's what he said, that by the definition, saved, sozo. The definition is to be taken, carried from beginning point to an ending point, as he said. That's a process. Baptism, a process. Repentance, a process. Salvation, a process. Not just something you can, like I say, I could dip you in there every day. You can come back. Oh, I love to get baptized. I got I got dipped again today. I got dipped again. See, I'm going to get dipped every day of the week. I like this. This is great, man. I feel so clean and holy. Every day I just get dipped. You're not going to turn into a pickle unless somebody holds your head down under there for well, the only way you could actually be baptized in water is somebody held you down until you couldn't breathe. That would be a baptism. That would be a baptism. Look that up. You have to be completely overcome. So how long does anybody make pickles anymore? How long does it take a, a cucumber to be held down? To be held down in, in the brine. You you may, you take a cucumber, how long you leave it in the brine for before it comes a pickle? It's not just left in there overnight, huh? It's not just dipped in there, huh? You can't make a you can't make a pickle by dipping a cucumber, can you? You could dip that 365 days a week and go get dipped in water. <laughs> you have to stay down in the fiery trials. <laughs> Getting dipped in the water is about as good as taking a shower. So you guys, some of you guys are getting it. It takes a process to be baptized, guys. And it's not, it doesn't come by water. It comes by fiery trials, blood. It's a blood. Remember, he wants to find our garments white and clean, spotless, washed in the blood of the lamb. So <laughs> it takes time. Sometimes it takes longer for other people, depending on, <laughs> you know, it's, but we must be completely overcome. So, you know. Two, three weeks it takes to make pickles. A month, you know, you have to be held down in there before it starts penetrating that outer skin. You know, then it starts to overcome that inner man, that inner portion of that pit, you know, and then it's going to take a process. About the time that it really is able to start that that salt and that all that, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> the fiery trials that he puts us through, that he tells us that we must go through to be with him. That's the process that eventually that like a like a cucumber now that brine is covered, that fiery trials is coming from the outer man to the inner man. And well, now you know it. We take you out of the water and we lift you out and you've been in there on for weeks. In this case, maybe years or months or, or, or decades <laughs> for every one of us is different. And then when she pulls you out, brothers, sisters, you cannot go back to being a cucumber. That's right. Welcome to being a pickle. Because once you've been overcome, by those fiery trials, tribulation, the lips is suffering. Who shall ever come after me? Let them deny themselves, take up their cross daily, cross, condemned, crucified spiritually, spiritual blood, spiritual baptism, follow after me. Now, now that you've been in there for a, a year, two, three, four, whatever it takes for you, and we pull you out. Well, guess what, pickle? There's no going back to being a cucumber. You're a pickle now. Welcome to being to the big boy club. You know, you're a pickle. You've been overcome and you cannot. No, I know you're scared because you've never been a pickle before in your life. But guess what? No going back to being a cucumber. It's a process. It's not in water, brothers. It's just the reason why John baptized 
Jesus and Jesus baptized John is because they went by their traditions, guys, so that the Pharisees would have to listen to him. Okay, they called him Jesus of Nazareth. He never corrected them. He never said he wasn't from, he was born of Bethlehem, <laughs> but he knew there were certain things that Christ did, you know, give unto Caesar or what is it? You know, this is one of those times, guys. This was what was called their Targum or their Mishnah. Like I gave that gentleman earlier, little pieces, you don't want to look at it. Or they had perverted this, you know, with their halakha and their oral law in their Haggadah. This is where this comes from. This was a perversion of the law. And so they've taken this tradition of dipping your hands before you go into the church and washing to the hands in water because you'd be out in the field or cleaning the stalls or whatever. Before you go into the church, you would wash your hands in the, in, and that was where they took this water dipping and dipping in water and turn this into baptism. That is the history. That is the history of baptism. And so we must go. And now when he says he, he wants to find our garments white, white none of us are going to be come on guys are any of us spotless <laughs> guilty not me i ain't good i don't think i can make that even if i tried every day never sinned again i don't think i could get these garments clean and spotless but we need to try and carry our cross so that's what he said we want we must have our garments white and clean washed in the blood washed in the blood of the lamb not our blood he paid that blood but our blood must be spiritual blood like it's a spiritual baptism. And if I say, take up your cross, he didn't mean literally, it meant spiritual, right? It's a spiritual baptism. It's a spiritual death. If I said die daily, I don't mean literally die daily. Death the self. We're supposed to die daily, <laughs> you know, spiritually. <laughs> so anyways, thank you for yours, brother. Some of you guys are getting it. And I know you see this thing, bless you. It is him. It is him. Uh, I will not be able to type with my Cool. So all blessings, brother, sister. It's hard. That's a hard teaching for people because I baptized my son when I was younger, right? You know, in water and thinking that I was, you know, when we're young, we're told we're supposed to be baptized, but it's a process. If we'd study the definition of the water of the word baptism, that is the Greek word for baptizo. So you need to study the original text. And you need to study the original definition. Get a lexicon and get the definition out. Get the definition. Study in the definition. And nobody can lie to you. Remember, he said, I am the aletheia. He said that. And I am the truth. Right? He said, I am the truth. And so we need to find him through definition. Not translation. Not perversion. Because people do that. Man does that. <coughs> Pardon me. That's idolatry. You always do that, guys. We always do that. We love to pervert things and make up a... That's why Christ asked Peter. He was sitting there at, talking to Peter. You guys remember he was talking with Peter and he was asking him about agape, love, agape, and, and phileo, right? Phileo, to, be, to have an affection. Remember he was saying, Peter, I'm not asking you if you phileo me. Do you agape me? Do you love me, Peter? I'm not asking you if you have affection for the things of this world and the are you walking and following in my commandments do you love me peter do you agape me so there are you know traditions and laws and things but this law that we're under now is spiritual it's a spiritual baptism it's a spiritual self it's a spiritual circumcision remember the apostle paul told us that we have an outer man we have an outer man an outer man and we have an inner man, and it's Christ in us, and he's blameless, and he cannot sin, right? It, that's why he told us to cut it off, circumcise the flesh, circumcise it. Not like the male genitalia, literal, right? Not literal, spiritual, cut it off. Cut it off, and then he will grow inside of you, and you become lesser of a man and more of Christ, and you'll, you'll want not to... To, to sin as you get older and older and older you won't want to go to the bar and hang out and and bring home women a different woman every night right you know or be a woman and bring home a different man every night that's the way it goes in this day and age right drink and do drugs and hardcore and 
you know, do things that are not righteous. And I'm not saying that we don't do those things when we're young, but as we learn to cut off the flesh, we lesser and lesser, we want to do those things more and more. We want to do things that are righteous. And he calls us to do that because he rebukes our hearts from the inside. And the voice inside our head tells us, stop doing that. That displeases me. Cut it off. Right. That's the Ruach Hokadesh. It's the Holy Spirit inside you, brothers and sisters. That's why he said, we have an inner man and an outer man. Christ in you, okay? He's inside of us, not, you know, he's part of who we are, but he's the blameless and the one who can't sin. And that's why we need to learn to stop with this outer man. Remember, he said, the Apostle Paul said, I've got this outer man, the flesh, and it just, it won't stop sinning. It just wants to sin. And that is our nature, right, our sisters. And that's why he warned to cut it off. And that's why Christ himself said, who shall ever come after me? Let them deny themselves. Deny yourself. Deny your flesh. Right? Remember Ephesians 6, 11 says, for we wrestle. We wrestle not against flesh and blood right? So don't wrestle the flesh. That's idolatry. That's self, right? That's our own law. That's Roma agape. What we're, what we phileo, what we have an affection for, the things of this world, the flesh. We're supposed to agape him, walk and follow in his commandments. If we love him, that is the word agape. We'll do what he tells us to do because our hearts from the inside out will rebuke us we will know that the things that we are doing are unrighteous and that it's not pleasing to the Father. We don't care what the world says. We listen to the voice inside our head and we circumcise that outer man or woman. Literal, right? No, spiritual circumcision. Spiritual death, death to self, die daily. Spiritual cross, who shall ever come after me? Let them take up their cross. Oh, wait, so you're supposed to carry around a cross with you? No, it's no. He said, do this literally, Tracy. We got to take this literally. <laughs> Good thing that he, we know that we're under this. You don't have to carry a cross because Christ didn't carry no cross, guys. He didn't carry a cross. <laughs> but uh, yes, there we go. Thank you. I like that, though. I was just talking to somebody about that today. Again, reminding me of that. Um, of a worder that Christians think they can sin all week, right? I can, hey man, hey, hey, worder, we're, it's me and worder, we're hanging out, we're fishing, right? We're hanging out, we're buddies. I'm like, hey, worder, man, I just beat the snot out of my wife again. And I know in that book, I'm not supposed to do that, man. But I'll tell you what, I'm gonna go talk to the priest on Sunday about this again. I gotta stop, you know, whatever's, you know, it, remember it's Friday, right? You know, it's Friday, right? You know, so. And, and, and Werner's like, well, that's all right. You could just beat the snot out of her tomorrow because you could just go ask her for forgiveness on fr on Sunday. Right? We're, we're hanging out. It's Friday. Right? And I'm talking to, man, you know, I kick my dog and I beat my, you know. Oh, you're good, man. Just ask for forgiveness. The priest will forgive you on Sunday. You can just go to church. It'll make it all better. Just go sit down, put some money in the basket and, did Pete, the, the old deke of the head up there, that guy will give you a bunch of nonsense. He'll tell you a joke or two, give you a couple scriptures, ask for some money, and then send you on, <laughs> send you on your way, right? But don't worry. You can ask forgiveness, and you'll be fine. You're good. God loves everybody. God loves everybody. <laughs> God loves everybody, right? Don't worry. You just ask him forgiveness, and you'll be forgiven. You have no idea what repentance is, huh? <laughs> forgiveness pretty silly but yeah i love it those lollipop christians who believe that that uh um repentance just repent bro it's easy oh well i'm not your bro but you know hey repentance is like doing a 180 degrees and then you stop doing it you can't be repentant if you don't stop doing something you haven't repented you have to walk away from it it's a process like salvation Repentance is a process. You can't just do it. <laughs> oh, I love that. You guys are silly. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Hold on. Let me beat my beautiful wife again. God will forgive you. You got it then, order, right? You know what I'm saying? We're fishing on Friday. 
And we're hanging out because we go to church on Sunday and I'll beat the snot out of her again, man. I don't know what to do. That's all right. You could probably get away with it tomorrow. You'd be all right. Yeah, just go ask the priest for forgiveness on Sunday. Ask the pastor. You'd be okay, you know. Hey, you just sit all week. You could beat her every day of the week, just as long as you go to church on Sunday. <laughs> beat your wife fired six days a week, Jesus. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. Forgive me, Father. Oh, forgive me, Father. Uh, uh, oh, man. That's terrible, guys. I shouldn't have said that. But think about it. Some of these people, they have that mentality that they can do whatever they want all week. As long as they go sit down on that, you know, church pew on Sunday, God's going to forgive them. And they're all right because they were told, you know, oh, God forgives everybody. God loves everybody. You know, they don't realize God is throwing most people in hell. God only loves his bride. You know, he chooses who he wants. Nobody chooses anything. God chooses who he chose from the foundation of the world. We can do what we want. Only one on life to live. Yeah, you can do what you want. We only got one life to live. <laughs> yep, vessel of wrath, fitted for destruction. The 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 head of the, the 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 number one head of the Satanist church. Look at this, guys. Do as thou will. Do as thou will. There we go. That we go into the Satanist church. What they say, do as thou will. We can do what we want. Only one life to live. There you go. That's that's the Satanist church right there. That's exactly what they say. Do as thou will. That's pretty silly, huh? Careful, that that devil is crafty. He's awful crafty. He's wise. Remember, he said, be wise as a serpent. He's not an ignorant fool. He does and performs all the same wonders and miracles as Christ. He's not some red, leotarded devil, kitty, kitty devil with, with, with horns and a pokey tail. He comes back looking and mirroring Christ looking just like he's like a copycat, right? Like a perfect copy. Is that, is that real or is that fake? That's what he comes back looking like. Just like, is that real or is that fake? Is that the real antichrist or is that a fake? Oh, wait, I thought it was some red devil and pokey, you know, in leotards with, uh, with some pokey tail. And, you know, after I said, I said, if the devil showed up with, uh, um, with red lipstick and high heels at your front door, gentlemen, would you recognize him? Hmm. <laughs> the devil's pretty cunning. Yeah, I better get out of here too, barbecue. What time is it? Thank you for reminding me. I can't stay on here all night. I got to get some work done out here tomorrow. So evil is evil is real. Yep. God created evil. Remember that the evil doesn't create evil. God creates evil. He allows evil to do thing, but God creates evil. All those lollipop Christians love to say, no, evil creates evil. No, God created evil. He creates good and evil. God created all things. No, evil creates evil. Okay, whatever. I can't argue with the memory. He said you can, he will not remove the scales from, from their eyes. Right? Not everybody will have this, the scales. Most people will not have the scales removed from their eyes. It will fall on deaf ears like monster boxes of silver out of the sky, 500 at a time at the tip of a smart bomb. Get your silver, guys. If you don't believe in gods, then the demons can't get you. <laughs> That's pretty funny. A, da a daemonion. WW3 zombie land. Oh, that must be just like a gamer tag or something. There's no such thing as zombies. There's no such thing as aliens. And there's no such thing as demons. Sorry. <laughs> you don't know what the word demon means. Just like the rest of the world. 666 is the number of what? You all get it. You'll get it wrong. 666 is the number of what? Hurry up. Come on. Doom, 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 doom. Do 666 is the number of what? Doop, ba doo 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 doom 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 doom. Ah, <laughs> uh, I love it. Uh, 
Silver is money. Silver is money. This is money. This is TP for my bunghole. <laughs> TP for my bunghole. <laughs> this is God's money. No, demons are not fallen angels. They don't have the same definition. So, see this? We take metal, God's money, and we kill each other with it. 666, not the number of love, you silly rabbits. And it's not the number of the beast either. You got it wrong. 666 is not the number of the beast. So, this is God's... Uh, no demons are not the Nephilim, fallen angels offspring. You're out of here for lying, disproving friends. You're a demon yourself. A demon is one who distributes fortunes by definition. A demon was a compliment. A demon was a compliment in history. No, it's not what you think. It was a compliment. Yes, it was. It was a compliment. It was giving somebody a compliment. You do not know anything about your history or the word demon. So, this right here, they sold Christ for 30 pieces of silver. Why? This is God's money. Do you think he wanted us killing our, ourselves with this? That's disgusting. R2D2, 3-2-N2-D2, 3-2-T2. Why, why would you think, you think God would want us killing ourselves with this, his metal, his money? This is God's money. Gold and silver are God's money. Yes, they are. Absolutely God's money. They sold Christ for 30 pieces of silver. Yeah, and I, uh, yeah, that's pretty bad, huh? Only 30 pieces of silver. That's pretty bad. Thank you. Appreciate that. It's finally, somebody, only 30 pieces? <laughs> Yeah, I know, huh? But think they, they put five hundred of these ounces in the tip of a of a. Oh, hey, do you have a? Hey, not do you have a? Um, do you have a degree in psychology? Not's got a degree in psychology. Not's got a degree in psychology. Hey, we got a psychologist in the uh in the uh, chat here. So, they they take and they put five hundred of these in the tip of a smart missile. And. They'll drop their gold and the the gold and silver in the streets. Five hundred ounces at a time on children and women in other countries. I know, I'm a veteran. I know what we do. Take this back from these. This a hey, you want you don't. Hey, you ever seen the movie Terminator? You ever seen the movie Terminator? Is that real? Do they have Terminators? Does DARPA have Terminators? How many ounces in it? How many ounces in a Terminator? How many ounces in a Terminator? Come on, Elon Musk has been messing with those Terminators, hasn't he? Terminators. How many ounces do you think are in a Terminator? I'm just saying. How about a DARPA dog to kick down your door? DARPA dog? DARPA dogs, <laughs> DARPA dogs take silver. Do I like Skittles? No, I used to freeze dry them. I didn't like them until I freeze dried them. It takes movies to make silver. You can't make a movie. There's 500 of these. 80 ounces of silver? You think? Eight ounces? Hey, I think it takes a lot more than eight ounces, guys, to make. I mean, how many? It takes something like 90 or some ounces to, to make the just the average car with all the circuitry in it. Even the smart cars are even more than that. So imagine that. Imagine all the circuitry in the, you know, whatever. I'm just curious. I mean, I don't think that God wanted us to take his money and to be uh, killing each other with it. I really don't think he ever designed this to kill each other with it. And again, we literally take this and, and drop and drop 500 ounces of this on top of each other. They'll, they'll, they'll throw their gold and silver in the streets. 
500 ounces at a time. Whoa. See, it's already happening. You thought they meant because it wasn't any worth any money, huh? Ha, 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 Thank you. Okay, thank you, guys. I'm just trying to... Oh, oh I got to go to bed, guys. 56, I said I got to go to bed. I got to shut the stream now because 56 said I go to bed. Yeah, it's God's money. It's always been, Ethan. They, they, it was the first money in the Bible. Okay? This is the first money in Scripture. The silver dinar was the first money. And it's always been because there's been 4,000 of these since the 12th century made and they all gone to zero this has never gone to zero in the last 7000 years nope it has not and it never will <laughs> bitcoin will probably not before it reaches a million dollars but god wasn't human past their heart so I'm just saying, this is God's money. It's always been. They sold Christ for 30 pieces of this. This used to be a day's wage. You know, so it was money. It, and it is and always will be. It, it, it will go back to this will be money again someday. People are just used to using IOUs, right? We used to fight over kingdoms and and princesses and princes and 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 silver and gold and right and, and and castles now we fight over ious debt notes and uh dudes chasing and millionaires chasing each other around in tights chasing around a, a a low energy swine skin and ious paper people are killing each other over pieces of paper now in this world that's crazy isn't that insane Literally killing themselves over pieces of paper. They used to kill themselves over precious metals, you know, like I say, queens and king. Now, now, now over tennis shoes, IOUs, and dudes chasing each other around in tights with different, uh, different colored jerseys on. Millionaires chasing each other around with low, low energy swine skin. Pretty crazy world we live in, guys. I think the degradation of society has reached an all time high. Tennis shoes? We're literally fighting over tennis shoes. Yeah, Nikes. <laughs> but you can actually, guys, you don't have to do that. You could step out of the madness and take your money back. You could become your own power company and 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 grow your own garden and your own vegetables. Get a wind turbine, get some solar panels, you know, get off the grid. Be your own central bank. You could become your own central bank. How about that? Become hey you know that there's only enough out there's only enough silver on the on the planet for each person to have eight ounces. This is eight ounces right here. There's a five ounce bar. Here's three ounces. If you divided all the silver that's on the surface right now, all the surface that's on the silver right now, all the surface on the silver right now, eight ounces each. Eight ounces. That's it. So if somebody if they take and drop a smart bomb on somebody that has five, well, hey, wait a second. If somebody, I don't know, you tell me. Only eight ounces per person on this earth. You divide out all the silver on the surface. That means we get eight, eight a piece. You're talking in here about fentanyl. You're disgusting, filthy. You probably work for China. Get out of here. This ain't TikTok, so I'm not worried about talking about China. Get out of here, you filthy. You don't talk about fentanyl in here. Filthy, disgusting pig. Shit's killing so many people on the streets. You can bring that up in here. Eight ounces a piece, guys. That's all you get. That's it. I know. You don't have any idea how you ended up on here. You can click right back out of here if you want to. Look at that patina. Look at that color. It gets a little bit of that. I love silver. It's just, a, I'm a silver bug, not a gold bug. So they drop 500 ounces of silver on, and, and the tip of a smart missile on women and children in other countries. Remember the word of God says they'll throw their gold and silver in the streets. 
It's already happening. It's been happening for decades. Every time they take that 500 ounces and it smashes into the ground, guess what? No more silver. No more silver. It's gone. No more silver. It's gone. No more silver. It's gone. It's decimated. It's for the navigation systems. They get them from the beginning out of their projectiles up into the air, turn where they need to go to them, and then turn back down and to hit the a lot of circuitry <laughs> and a smart missile. They do it all by themselves, guys. Long, you know, we've come a long way in war from taking flak and dropping, dropping ball, you know, over the target. When you were over the target, you were getting shot at. That's where the term "taking flak" comes. That's a aviation term. I'm an army veteran, but that's an air force term. Taking flak um, comes out of out of the aviation when they would fly over. A target how do they know when to drop their ordinances they were taking flak they were getting shot out from the ground and then they would do it. oh all right that's where we're at we're here let's do it send it <laughs> so um yeah now they've got these smart ones that just do it all by themselves and they can you know in their own projectiles and but we've come a long way so it takes three to five hundred ounces so if everybody's only allowed eight ounces on the planet each each and they drop 500 on well somebody's not getting their eight as a matter of fact quite a few people are not getting their eight yep smartphones it's in everything it's in everything um but i'm just trying to bring a point up to you guys that most people don't think about the way silver is used it takes it takes silver to to put it in a tank Silver in a drone, silver in the computer to run the drone, silver in the satellite that it takes to help assist the drone. It takes silver in the tanks. It takes silver in the in the airplanes. It takes silver in everything. This is more important than oil, guys. This is more important to the life. This is the lifeblood of the military industrial complex. Do you understand what I'm saying? If they didn't have this, they couldn't be fighting the wars that they have right now. It wouldn't be possible to fight the oil wars without this silver. I really wish I would have been on this 30 years ago, guys. I would have been pounding this down on everybody every day. I would be saying this to people. And I have been since I, I don't know what, like a, a week ago, I caught on to this. I was like, holy smacks, they're dropping 500 ounces of this on people in other countries wait a minute, if we took this away from the from the military industrial complex, we could probably take our country back. We could stop funding all this MAGA death, this mega death in other countries. You know what I'm saying? So doesn't seem like, you know, like that's some kind of crazy conspiracy theory to me. You know? So... Look, guys, in, in, in outside of America right now, in India, China, Japan, Taiwan, they are buying up gold. They're they're telling their 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 civilization to buy gold. Go buy gold. Like in India, they're buying like these little like silver shot or gold shot. They're like little one gram beads. Anything they get their hands on. And they're not like here in America where like Black Friday, we're like stomping over each other for precious metals. They're peacefully lining their malls. Just they're full of all these people are going and buying gold right now. That's why gold is at an all-time high. And gold will drag silver around with it. What do you guys talk about? Tiny hats. I've never heard this before. I've been in the, been in the mess. Are you guys just like some kind of... I've never heard this term before. But anyways... Um, it's an interesting market guys right now. The, uh, again, the market cap on, on silver is like a $900 billion market. Um, there next year, they say there's like a $1.8 billion or 1.8 billion ounce demand for silver next year between the photovoltaics with solar, with China, uh, producing all the investment demand. So. All right, we'll just get you out of here because I think you guys are maggots and just being stupid. So goodbye.
Yeah, I don't want to hear none of that. I want to hear about the fake Jews. <laughs> okay, my bad. I didn't know that. My bad. Okay, you guys are just speaking in a different language. Okay, sorry. My bad. I, I'm not sorry about anything. I apologize. Um, oh, I didn't know that. Okay, I'll use that now. I didn't know that what that meant, but definitely it, all the central banks are buying more r gold right now than they ever have in the history of the central banks, guys. So if you're not in America, you probably know this, but if you're in America, just another day of playing Call of Duty and World of Warcraft, going to the good old job, coming home and doing the thing, you know, just America, 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 boys. Not much going on here in America. Just kind of like the silent majority. Nobody's even talking about the fact that the president is a pedophile, a file of pedos, and, and nobody cares. It's almost four years. We're almost to the selection, and still everybody's forgotten. They've been lulled to Sleepy Joe, right? You apparently didn't watch the State of the Union dress. History's watching Joe Biden. Oh, hey, look, what was that again? Uh, I saw that, um, darn it, what did it say? It said uh, something about the internet. Oh, I got to remember this, this was so good. It was something like the one that Richard Nixon had said about Americans do not believe anything until they see it on television. You want to buy a Jew? Oh, interesting. So, um, what was it? So it said something about the internet. It said something about the internet. I'll remember it. And then it said, uh, and then it, and then it quoted Abraham Lincoln. So it was something that wasn't even. Um, I'll, I'll find it. I'll put it up. I'll remember it the next time I come up here. It was absolutely hilarious. But it talked about something about the internet, and then it quoted somebody like way back in history when the, it was Abraham Lincoln. And I'll remember it. It was hilarious. It almost made me, I don't laugh very often like that, but it was a good one. I don't know why they call him that. Yeah, you know who's controlling the media is is Mr. Abadonald John McNugget. Remember, he told you it's fake news, but it's not. It's the news that's controlled. <laughs> who's the best president we've ever had? Um, none of them. They're all tyrants. They all fund Magadeth. This country's been at war and inception since our start. But the only president that even had kind of any sense might have been, but he was a still a 33-degree Mason would be George Washington because he banned Christmas in America. Yeah, George Washington banned Christmas in America. So maybe he had some wits about him, but he was still a Mason and a tyrant, and he believed in war too. So um, he was a he, – he went in opposition to the New Testament. So, But he did say no foreign entanglements. No foreign entanglements. No, no foreign entanglements. So when asked who my favorite president, it'll be always the same answer. None of them. They're all tired. They're all tyrants. They're tyrants. They don't have our rights in mind. Hey, look, check this out. We sell land to air weapons. That's called a law. We sell surface to air missiles. That's called a SAM. Okay. We sell... Heavy, 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 heavy artillery, heavy artillery, heavy artillery to other countries. We sell drones, drones to other countries. We sell, we sell things that make mushroom clouds to other countries. We sell bear cats and ramps, armored vehicles, heavily armored, light armored. And they have the, they have the audacity to t tell you that you can't have a bump stock or you can, you can't have a certain, I have a 40 acre parcel out here. Okay. I have enough room on my property. If that I wanted to put an Apache helicopter on this 20 acres and, uh, and a Black Hawk Apache uh, helicopter on that 20 acres, 
and I had them decked to the hilt. How long do you think before the Department of Defense would be out at my house telling me that I couldn't have those helicopters out here? And we sell those same helicopters to other countries. Never, Mr. Orange, Agent Orange, never forget he said he would send the, through executive order, he would send the military to your door to deliver you the greatest warp speed gene therapy jab do ever in right in warp speed to your door and he believed in taking your second amendment right because if your neighbor called and made a complaint he said he would take them and prosecute you later that's what he believed that he would take your second amendment mr agent orange everybody who loves this you know the guy with the decorates his house with satan lives on the 66 penthouse floor of a 58 nimrod tower i mean uh well nimrod's tower was um 58 stories but on a 58 story trump tower right you tell me anyone so again it's you know, they all fund uh, these people are all the same. They're all the same two, 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 uh, two cheeks to the same hole, two cheeks to the same hole. Oh, my favorite league world in history. God, Christ Jesus, who came back in the flesh, the leader of, of the body. That would be the only person I could think that ever possessed flesh after uh, in this world that I would ever want to have a favoritism towards an effect phileo phileo that would be a phileo to have an affection for. <laughs> You're an American. Oh, cool. Americans are um, disgusting. People who've gone out and used and weaponized their dollar system. <laughs> Flips on my channel. Why? Why am? Uh, why am I gang stalking you? That's pretty funny. I think it might be the. Uh, I think it might be the feds. People always say the feds come in here, but I don't think so because they're low man on the totem pole. They don't. They don't really have any authority. They're like, you know like dog poop under somebody's shoe, right? They really don't have any value. They're just, you know, you got to get up there a little higher, like below the office of the president to maybe they're gang stalking you or something like that. Oh, wow. Thank you guys. <laughs> Appreciate it. They were my second super chat, man. I never had, I, that blew me away. So the way to kind says only just found a place and now I can't stay away. Thank you for being you brother. Well, appreciate it. I'm just trying to <laughs> have a little taco talk here. It's not taco Tuesday anymore, but um, thank you for coming in. If you follow me, I hit on a lot of topics, man. I'm, I'm all over the place. Um, uh, no, I pretty, I'll, I'll might go buy a piece. I haven't bought any silver guys. This is the last piece of silver that I bought. No kidding. This is the last piece of silver I bought in 2020. I haven't bought any silver in four years. Look at how wore out that coin is. You can't even see the year on it hardly. But this is the last piece of silver. Silver's a pretty good. Uh... I about do all kinds of things on this channel. We talk about silver. We talk about a little bit about economics. You know, talk about money. We all got to have some kind of money to make it. I mean, we don't try to get rich, you know, but give you information. I'm not rich. I, I live off the grid. We talk about living off the grid. I'm building cabins out here. I'm building, I'm in the process of building three cabins like this one you see here. This is a, this is the rusty cowboy cabin. This is one of the build outs out here in the high desert. There's some hammocks that hang up right here. These are hammocks that go across. So you can hang out in the hammocks. There's a, that's the bathroom that sits in behind here. There's a waterless toilet back there in nature's head. There's a stand up shower right here. Um, all slate sh tile shower. So I'm the, here's the fireplace going here. We've got the wood stove going. A little shot down here from the, down in the cabin here, but hanging out off grid. You should talk about, well, 
Yeah, they have. We do talk. I don't talk about religion. I talk, I expose religion. <laughs> I expose what religion, you know. Um, I'm not religious, so I do talk a lot about the Word of God. Um, but I'm not religious, so um, I define it. I teach people how to study it. And I, I talk about, um, uh, hold on, where are you at? Was that word? Where did you go here? What was your name there? Um, Bo, Bo, have you seen my, have you seen my decode, Bo? Have you seen my decode on the, on the eclipse that's coming up? These eclipses. You said you found my channel. Have you seen Bo? Thank you for the super chat. Appreciate that a ton, man. That's a huge, um, I got $4 and 99 cents on my last one, but, uh, how cool is that guys? I, I thank you very much. I just monetize the channel and, I, I buy and I trade and I sell to, to make my way, guys. I'm an honorably discharged veteran. I don't get any kind of veterans benefits or any kind of Social Security. I live off of what I buy and I trade and I sell. So um, thank you for the support of this channel. Um, Bo, I, if you haven't seen my decode, I'd step up and give you a quick decode. I can't stay up all night because I've got to get working tomorrow. But if you guys follow me, I'll be doing the, the cabin builds out here. Again, I'm an off-gridder who has been off the grid for five years and I'm trying to get to where I don't have to work on the internet anymore. I've spent on, you know, a couple of decades being pretty successful, being able to have more time um, than I had money, you know, but I, I could make a good living because I was a single dad. I was a single parent for nine years. I raised my son as a single parent, no child support, no social security, no VA, no disability, no nothing. I worked hard for, for what I, for what I had. So, um, I appreciate all the support when people show, you know, show me any kind of support because it helps every penny in my life. I actually just drop my wallet. Um, be careful guys. I don't know how this happened to me, but I dropped my wallet. Somebody immediately picked up and they spent all my money out of both my credit card, my not debit card out of my bank and my cash app card and my cash app card. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I can't get any of my money back from Cash App. They're not giving my money back. They caught the guy. They got my credit cards back. Charged him with credit card fraud, all that. But Cash App is not giving me my money. It's kind of a bummer, man. Careful with Cash App. So keep your card locked, guys. Um, but it was kind of weird because my card wasn't unlocked that they were able to track the guy and catch him off the cash app because they could see the cash at the location. So I appreciate it very much, Bo. I thank you. Um, yeah, I just live off of what I make. I buy, I sell, I trade. When I get some money, I, I sell it. I make a little bit of profit and then I buy something else with the profit that I can fix. And, and then I do that again <laughs> and do it again and again. And I've, and I've, um, but since I put my water overlay video out on this channel or on TikTok, I haven't been able to sell anything on the internet in three months, three months for 20 years. I've made my living. No problem. So, um, but I work hard for what I have. I do raise animals. You know, I have a farm, so I work for what I have. Um, I do raise sheep. And I have raised hogs out here. I've bred dogs and I do rabbits and chickens. And so um, I breed animals. I don't do, I don't have any more livestock here anymore. It just got too much to ex expensive and too much for myself to take care of. For one man to take care of, you know, goats and sheep and chickens and, you know, rabbits and dogs and cats. And <laughs> it's just got to be a, uh, or whatever if you qualify for a benefit cuz you're cuz your illness then you qualify for it angel it doesn't whatever and that's and that's that's silly <clears throat> i'm not mad at people who get benefits or something cuz they qualify for it i don't like when they just give them away to people who don't you know like some of the stuff that's happening right now with people coming into this country and that crazy they get people I'm an honorably discharged veteran from the United States Army. I, you know, I serve this tyrant beast system or whatever, but, and I don't, I don't get any money and they give money to people that come into, uh, 
they get people just coming across the border that don't even have citizenship and i serve this country you know i was a school bus driver for years i did a lot of uh different things for this country i've been a tyrant police officer you know a military police officer and nope i get no money every month i don't get any money i'll, I'll work for what i have so but i'm doing okay i mean i'm, I'm all right i just uh ran into a, a tough month um because so I my, I dropped my wallet and somebody picked it up and spent all my money. So, and then the cash app wouldn't give it back, but it is what it is. I'm, I'm pushing through it. I'm hoping the spring will come out here and I've got some things in the springtime that I can get sold that I bought over the winter months. I have a couple line trimmers and uh, a, a plate compactor that compacts, you know, the plate compactor and then a, a, a jumping jack I bought from a lady when I had a little bit of cash and I, I, bought them and fixed them up and got them running and um so i'm i'm excited because the weather's getting better out here i'll be able to get those listed for sale and uh i gotta be able to i don't know i think i'm actually have to list my something under somebody else's name guys i can't sell anything on the internet anymore they've kind of got me electronically you know tamped down right now but that's all right it's no worries um i'll push through this i'm going to um get these cabins done and uh no, I'm going to rent them out and I will be giving away some free cabin rentals out here. They're called moonshine cabins, guys. They're on this channel. If you want to go back and look at some, I'll be on tomorrow doing a live stream, doing some work probably on the rusty dragon that I'll be building out. It's one of the cabins. I'll be renting them out here in the high desert. This place just made um, the largest die dark sky sanctuary in the world. In the world the whole there's 2.5 million acres that have been dedicated out here as a dark sky sanctuary and then i'm right in the middle where my moonshine cabins are at so if you like the stars and you like a place to watch the stars this just made the largest dark sky sanctuary in the whole world so um uh, i'll be giving someone these cabins get finished built out i'll be giving some overnight free cabin rentals out they're going to be between 100 to 125 a night um but i'll give those out for yeah moonshine they're called moonshine cabins so you got it get it because the because the moonshine is 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 brighter and it's colder than the shade like sun is hotter than the shade moonshine is colder than the shade so that's why they're called moonshine cabins they're not doesn't have anything to do with alcohol but kind of the thing, guys, I have a little different thing that I've got going on here. You have to pay with silver. You have to pay with silver for your, for your cabin rental. Are you going to bring some silver with you to pay for your cabin rental if, I, if you don't get a free rental? I'll be giving probably at least a couple of rentals away, guys. I'm going to try to finish the Rusty Butterfly, which was built out last year. I have to finish the inside of that cabin. I'm working on both the inside and outside together on this rusty dragon. I'm in the the, the rusty cowboy right now. Um, but uh, I will be making people pay with silver for their room, their cabin for the night. So I'll have silver out here for people to pay with. I'll have silver for people to pay with. So you'll pay for your room. I'll do an exchange. Where is it? Seems like Gramps has calmed down. No, I, right. I don't have any grandchildren there. Uh, you're a, you're, you're a, you're a disc. You're a Dix. Is that your name? I can't remember. See what that says there. Hold on. I think that's what it said. I don't have any grandchildren, so I don't know why you're calling me Gramps. Just was it the beard? You don't like the beard? I'm not as old as you think. Yes, moonshine is colder than the shade. Isn't that crazy? Give me a second, guys. Oh my god, I gotta get up and stretch for a minute. All right, we better shut this thing down. You guys are good. I can't. Uh, I never heard back from from uh, from my super chat. 
But anyways, guys, I'll be doing some cabin rentals out here. If um, just means you got. Oh, well, I'm not that old. Like I said, I I'm old, but I'm not that darn old. Come on now, guys. <laughs> okay, but um, I was trying to uh, look like an old man. I don't know. What is old? You tell me what old is. What is old? How, how old is old? What do you consider old? Yeah, what is old? Sixty. You remember the Do you remember the Civil War? Well, that's pretty old. <laughs> you guys are brutal. That's all right. No worries. How old do you think I am? How old do you think I am? I'm 41. I feel old every morning. Bo, cool. 50. You know that's old I am. 50. I'm 50 years old. <laughs> if I shave my beard, I'll look 50, guys. I can shave off a few years, so it's just the gray beard. It's whatever. Not that old. I'm still in shape. 69. Oh, 69 years old. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> it is 1220. I got you guys got me for 10 more minutes, guys, and I'm going to shut down because I got to get to work tomorrow. I got I can't play reindeer games all the time. I'm 49 and 21. Cool. Well, like I said, I'm I like my old gray beard and I'm not trying to look young for anybody. If I if I want to look young, I can shave my beard off, but I'm not gonna probably ever do that. I mean, I've done it a couple of times, but no. No, I'm not trying to impress anybody now. I don't think I'll ever be married or have a wife or anything like that again. So I'm not concerned about what I look like and uh <laughs> I, I don't even want to tell you they're bunk BW because I've had so many crazy things that have happened in my life that I couldn't even, they just happen on a regular basis. Like my disappearing wallet trick that seems to just disappear on all on its own and appear in other places like this wallet right here. Just for example, I went to, I went with this same wallet and I drove all the way to Canada with the wallet. I used it at a gas station near the border. I got all the way down. I had a receipt for it in my pocket. I had a receipt for this in my pocket using this card, the credit card. I left out of Eugene, Oregon, coming from where I live to go buy a, a food truck, a little food truck, like a Metro Mite, like a, like a little bread van. It was up in up near the Canada border. This wallet. I left Eugene, Oregon. I went to the burrito boy. I was going to pay for the credit card. I decided to pay for cash. I brought my son's friend with me to drive me back down. So I had a driver with me. I got all the way up there. The guy did not show me the vehicle. So with this wallet, I paid with the credit card that was inside with the wallet. He wanted to go to Salem, Oregon and look at a vehicle because I couldn't get the vehicle I got. We went and looked at it. I got out of the car. I went pee. We got to the gas station, went to go fill up. This wallet was gone. I went back to where I went to go pee. You know, and then looked around with a flashlight because I was out on the side of the building in the dark. It was dark by the time we got up there. The only other place I went back and looked for it I, that I knew that I had this wallet was back in Eugene, Oregon. So I'm near the can Canadian border <laughs> in, in, in Wash, you know, and I spent, I got a receipt for using this wallet with this credit card because I recently lost it again and I had it in my pocket and they show me having it in credit card and then it just disappeared again. So I called my son in Eugene because when I, you know, I had it before I drive, I put it underneath my seat 
And then when I left, I had it. I have a habit sometimes of doing that. I put it in my pocket and I left with it. I called my son and this wallet was back in Eugene, Oregon in a completely different state. And I had a receipt for this card with this wallet. Just recently, I lost this, which I know that I didn't. And then ended up somebody else ended up having it and spending all my money. That's this wallet. How about that for a crazy story? This particular wallet. I've got witness. I you remember I, I'm sitting there, I'm telling my son's friend, hey, call my son. He's like, dude, that's crazy. You just spent the, you had a receipt. You've got a receipt for that. How could that be? I'm like, don't, don't ask him any questions, please, dude. I don't want to stay up here all night. Just call him. If it's there, it's there. If it's not, it's not. Then we'll go. But I want to at least know. I, I don't want to leave here. It still could be there, but I got, that's the only other place I can think. He's like, dude, you're nuts, dude. Like, I don't care. Just call him, please. Even my son, even my son, who, who said, dad, you brought that car over here and you wanted me to work on the car because that C that noise CV joint was making noise. I drove your car and got all crazy with the steering. That wallet would have slid out from underneath the seat. There's no way it's under there. I said, son, I'm up here, you know, in Washington, near Washington. Please just check for me. To all I'm asking you, and then I'll leave. I'll come home. I'm frustrated. I've been up here for a couple hours. Your buddy's getting kind of frustrated with me because I'm getting short. He wants to leave. I don't, you know, I don't know what to do. Will you please just look in the car for me? He's like, Dad, whatever. And he's like, Okay. Yep. It's right here, Dad. I said, I'm on my way. So, and I just recently this wallet disappeared. And they they have me on camera. They have me on camera putting it in and buttoning my wallet, walking 15 steps out the door. I looked on the camera in Bend, and then all of a sudden, you know, 45 minutes later, my Cash App card goes off. So how about that for some crazy stuff? I have stuff like this happen all the time, just so you know. All the time. All the time. So there's just recently. And now I can't. Now, oh, now look, they caught the guy. Here, here. They caught the guy. They got my wallet because they caught him with the Cash App. Ching, ching, ching. He kept spending all my money, and finally... They caught him at Wilco after going to McDonald's, Dutch Brothers, all these places to stop and spend all my money in my card. So they catch him. They get the wallet back. They get my cards because I have a CDL. I don't want to lose my my commercial license. I have a, I don't want to show you the whole thing. On, I show my disease. This I got a live stream taken. That's how weak, uh, that's how weak um, TikTok is. But I have a CDL. I have a commercial license. Commercial license. I'm also a veteran, right? So I didn't want to get my license because it takes me a lot to get that back. I don't use it, but I, you know, I was, I have my social security card in there, you know, they looked on the video and they see me putting that in my, you know, so they caught the guy, they got the license back. I have it. I filed the police report. They charged the guy with credit card fraud, the whole thing took the evidence, whatever. And, Cash App won't give me my money back. I can't get my money back from Cash App. They won't give it back. So how about that for even more strange? The guy's like, dude, I've been here since Cash App started. You'll get your money back. I don't know what's going on. If you just file the, I spent 26 hours with Cash App trying to get my money back. Then I can't get it back. So I guarantee if it happened to you, you would be able to get your money back. But not me. I have the craziest things happen in my life all the time but whatever it is what it is it's my life it's been going on like this for decades so i don't even have to pay attention to it most of the time actually i was more concerned about this guy who stole my apparently i don't know how he got my wallet he had it or whatever he admitted he had it you know but he had two kids with him and he spent a lot of the money on the kids and i was thinking they were going to arrest him and take the kids to child protective services and so my concern that day was for the kids and the cops kept getting on me. And the guy who actually gave me a ride into town, he's kept, well, why are you worried about these? You know, this guy stole all your money. You know, like I'm worried about if these kids are going to go to protective service or not. I want to know a little bit about this guy stole all my money. I want to know what's going on here. Well, he can't tell you all that. Well, I'd like to know something. So the cops thought I was crazy that day, guys, because I was more concerned about the kids than my money. And I really was, yeah, I was just afraid that they would get put in child services that day. It took them a while to get them arrested and charged and to do all the things. And those kids were sitting in the car the whole time, you know what I'm saying? And had to watch that. I didn't know if it was their dad or their uncle or 
anything. I didn't know if they were kidnapped or what. I didn't know anything. So, but it was kind of alarming to me. You know, he saw a veteran on my license, so he didn't care about stealing money from a vet. <laughs> so he apparently didn't have much, you know. But in any case, uh, it is what it is. Um, things happen, guys. And what can I do? You know, it's God's will. And I just kind of, I'm not going to put any more time into it. I can't, man. I can't. I've tried. I tried. I tried three times. They've gotten six copies of the police report. It just, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. I just moved on. You know, there's a lot of things that happen like that in my life. I could spend a lot of time, but I won't get anywhere. I could spend another 26 hours and I won't get that money back. But you could do it. And you get your money back immediately. I know and ask for these things. This is just what God, what God does in my life. It just it's like that day when I knew um no, I don't believe in ghosts, um spirits, but I don't believe in ghosts, like you know, manifestation of I believe in energy, sure. If you want to come and feel some energy, come out to this property where I'm at. People come out here and went, Whoa, dude, your property has got some crazy energy on it i know huh it's awesome isn't it <laughs> it's in whoa this place is yeah well this used to be into your burial grounds and you know this is this place is special right here so um but um no, i don't do the ghost thing sorry no ghosts no demons no aliens i don't believe in space i don't believe in heaven like that's in the sky i don't believe in none of that stuff that's all worldly lollipop uneducated too much television believe everything you see don't define anything but the translation is all it is and all those things i've spent 30 plus years debunking and can almost everything by definition by you know studying so but i whatever people believe whatever they want in this lifetime you know so i believe everything that happens in my life it's god doing it it's god doing it it's god doing it <laughs> it's God doing it. It's not anybody else. I don't get mad at other people when they do things. It's God testing me to see if I'll snap at them and do what I've done before. It's turn me back to the old me, which I don't want to be. I don't want to ever be the old me ever again. That's why I do what I do now. I'm not a veteran, I'm not a police officer. I didn't have to, you know, my life growing up forced me to do a lot of things that I did not want to do. <laughs> But how are ghosts fake and God isn't? You're comparing God to a ghost. That is the stupidest thing I think I've heard tonight, man. Honestly, and I'm not trying to be rude, have some thick skin. That's got to be the stupidest thing I think I've heard tonight. You're comparing God to a ghost? The sovereign thing that has created all things to just some remnant of a energy? That's pretty ignorant, man. You maybe should think about it before you just get ahead of yourself, start typing a little bit, please. I don't deal for ignorance in here. I'll call you out on it every time. It is what it is. We're all in here together, but ignorance is not going to get you. It's not bliss in here. So <clears throat> your brain can't fathom it because you can't seem to put two and two together, but that's okay. Um, you probably believe in ghosts. You probably believe in a sky daddy, you know, God, and you believe in star or like, you know, like space and, heaven that's somewhere above our head and all that like the world does so that's why you're probably stuck on that so hard it's like how could you this world you've been trapped by the cabra the black mirror oh also you're one of those that needs proof well this isn't the channel for you man and i don't cast my pearls before swine so just leave and I won't I won't make you leave for 24 hours. Just leave. Please, bye. Thank you. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. Just leave. We don't even have any close in the same the hados would be the same to be in the same narrow way. We're not anywhere close. Okay. The only thing that's real is the government. Goodbye. You do the works of your father. Get behind me, Satan. Silliness. Okay, guys. That's all I got for this evening. Much love. Appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Good night. Get a little late night taco chat. It's Taco Tuesday, Wednesday now. <laughs> so a little silver talk. Thanks. I always like to talk about silver. Um, guys, I got to get I got to get to work in the morning. I got a shelter to build. Don't you understand? We got uh, 
you know, a celestial alignment coming up, 10, 24, 24, and you guys are going to get creamed. If you don't do something about this celestial alignment, I'm doing something about this. Are you doing anything about this celestial alignment that I'm showing you right here? Are you doing anything about this celestial alignment, guys? You should. It's not the end of the world. The world already ended as we know it. So I'm, I got to do something about this tomorrow, guys. The sun is definitely changing, you know. Um, magnetics, come on. We're going to get pinched in between the magnetics. There's no, there's no magnetism right here, guys. No magnetism. This graphic, I've got tons of this information on my channel. I'm the only one covering the water overlay map, the federal government, David Debine at DAP 2030 is the only other channel on the internet covering this celestial alignment. This is 10 24 24. We will be in this celestial alignment in 200 and what 20 days or something, probably even less than that now. Time's tick tick ticking away, tick tock's going away. We have a toroidal field, a celestial, you know, the field that comes out from our north and our south poles, the magnetics, the, the magnetosphere. This is the mechanics of our earth. The magnetosphere is weakened by 40%. What they don't want you to see is this with the federal map behind it, because this is where the water, I believe, is going to get pinched and come up onto the, to the land in the United States of America like it has before many times in history on a cycle all the way up to the rocky sometimes a little less sometimes a little more this is what is called a mean or an average map that have done in a program built the water overlay map of all the 400 year cycles or excuse me four 400 feet cycles of where the water raises and lowers 400 feet on this earth so they're not pissed about that <laughs> they're not pissed about that they're pissed about the water overlay map that I've attached to it that shows the federal land. I'll give you a quick shot of it, then I got to go. Maybe give you guys something to bite on here so you guys will follow me back. I don't care if you do or not, but God will provide. But this is what they don't want people to know. And this is what has got me taken down off TikTok. Well, we're putting it, it's on the channel over here. So go watch it. This video is on the channel, the whole video. Almost near perfect match. Look at California, look at these lines, look at this line. Nothing over here. Tell me they don't know this. This is what they know, guys. So This is what they know. God controls the stars. I believe this will be something that uh, we're gonna ungravel for. Thank you, bro. I need some gravel. Gosh, my driveway is so bad right now. They have torn up. There's a property for sale back there that they somebody put the five acre parcel up for sale. God, they're tearing up my driveway. <laughs> Perfect line up. Look at that. There we go, guys. This what this is what I, I I'm getting ready for. On the scale, but pretty close to what the land is because there are two different maps. But you can see. So they're right there. This is the event that I believe that'll happen before 10, 24, 24. Ocean out here, gone. I could be wrong. It could be in five of 25 when we swing out in front of the sun. But they don't care that you know this. They don't want you to see that red map, though. There is not one other YouTube channel anywhere on the Internet information out. I don't want any. I want to give all glory to God. Not to me. There is not one other channel putting this information out. They're looking up almost near perfect. That lines up. So if you're on the East Coast, why are they not bought any and purchased this land over there on the East Coast? Isn't that kind of strange where all the migrants, most of the migrants have been shipped over to that part of the U.S. now for the last, you know, year, two? getting ready for they, they get the red. No, we ended up with the white. When you see the red before. show up they with the white that's Colorado. left. Colorado, state capital. Look at that. Come on, guys. Don't tell me they don't know this. That's the last shot of it for you. 
first shot of the US. So I have the full video Texas, on this channel. All it's, the way over. it's three minutes and 33 seconds. It's the video. Watch that in the video above it, guys. It'll tell you what's going on. I have a picture of this. This video that's up there too that shows you where we're at on the celestial on the celestial wheel. Okay. So I got to get off here and get my butt to sleep. I got to get up in the morning and, and get to work on this. I'm building a 50 foot storm shelter out on this property. And I have been for five years, but I got to get it finished. So we're right in the middle of a magnetic excursion right now. This is what it looks like when our polar field shift, this is happening on this earth. This is all part of where there's many things that are happening right now on this earth that the people are, a lot of the people on this earth aren't talking about, but the elite, the rich, the government, look at all these elite building all these shelters and getting ready for this event <laughs> as the people on, you know, here on the surface, just sit around and play World of Warcraft and go on TikTok or YouTube all day or do whatever. I'm not saying you can't go do those things too, guys, but there's a lot of things that are going on right now. Okay. And so I believe that, um, this is the video that the that I put up on the inner uh, on the internet on this channel. It'll look like this. It's three minutes and thirty three seconds. This is the full video. Okay, it'll look like this on the channel, which will show you if you're out of the U.S. This shows all the maps of all the different countries. Okay, so if you're not in the U.S. and you're following me on this thing, um, so that's it. That's why I got to get ready and get off this thing because tomorrow. I got to get this shelter ready. You guys can dilly dally on the, and get ready and do whatever you want. But um, the scripture says hailstone, the weight of a talent. That's 149 pound, 14 ounce hail. We had Honga Tonga go off on February 15th of 2022. And it sent 146 gigarams of our ocean sitting in our ionosphere right now. Frozen. It's been stuck there ever since. It hasn't come back down. So any day, you know, it, we're going into the spring. The Atlantic is already heating up at a record rate. And if you understand the way our earth cools itself, it takes the heat from the ocean. It blows it up into our upper atmosphere like a vacuum. It's only a matter of time, guys. Expect a lot of hail um, events this spring and this summer. As this cools off, it's going to blow all that up there. We're going to get hail. So um, I have an underground garden out here that I'm trying to build as well. I have an underground house out here that I'm trying to build as well, as well as three cabins that I'm trying to build as well. A driveway that I try to keep and maintain animals, a farm, this whole thing. So I'm a busy guy. I'd love to stay on here with you guys all night, but I need to get to work tomorrow. And if I don't get to work tomorrow, I'll get up late and I won't get any hour a day in and I need to put eight hours a day and I don't have a job. I work for myself. So some days I work on the property. Some days I work to get things sold so that I can pay the land payments out here. So if you like anything I've said, if any of this interests you, give this channel a follow, hit the bell button. That'll notify you the next time I do a live stream or if I put any content on this channel. You guys, it never costs anything to hit the thumbs up button, okay? Try to remember to help your content creators. If you like and support a content creator, it never costs a dime, a penny to hit that thumbs up. And it helps people like myself who create content on this platform and do the live stream. So if you'll do me a favor, there's 37 of you. You guys aren't broke. I don't mean to go there, whatever. I'm trying to be real. If you do me a favor, if you can, I have a cash app link in the description. Thank you for that $20 donation. I'll do the decode if you come back. It's up on the channel if you follow me. I'm going to erase this decode soon, guys. I've got more lessons that I want to go over. Okay, I've got more information that I want to share with this channel. So I'm going to be erasing this decode soon. I'll put it back up, I'm sure. We've got time, you know, April 8th. That's, I'll probably do it one more time, but i got a couple lessons to teach. So I put out a lot of information on this channel. If you, you know, people that like information, I've been studying, study, study for 30 years. I take and I've put some hours, I put uh, 12, 15, 20 hours a day, you know, it, years ago. And um, I do it for near decades now. So I've done it for a long time. And I love to share the information that I have with people. People can believe anything I say, you know, discern it all for yourself. But um I try to keep the nonsense out of here so people can ask questions 
this channel is growing quite large. It's grown from 300 followers, you know, subscribers to um, over 7,000 now in just a little over a month. So I think that the most high has taken over this channel and doing with it what he wants. So thank you for those extra thumbs up, guys. I appreciate it. It really does help a lot. It does. So if you guys are well off, Somebody gave me a $50 Bitcoin donation the other day on my Cash App card. There is a Cash App description, you know, for my predestined for light. And there's a PayPal in the, in the description as well. Not required. You come back. You don't ever have to make a donation to this channel. And I would not treat you any different because you didn't. Okay. I'll always try to give you the information free of charge, you know. But um, if somebody's doing well um, and can help me out and done well, those links are in the description and uh, they're not links. They're just put, you know, PayPal, my address and um, the cash app name. So thank you guys. I hope you guys glean some information here this evening. It's just kind of a random talk. I'm always talking about the most random things, but uh, definitely hope you guys took something of some value from this chat. I'm not trying to cause anybody to have fear by that celestial alignment that I showed you. Go watch my video. You know what I'm saying? Um, go see what I'm putting out. I am putting out some information that nobody else has put out on the internet right now. Not one other channel, not one other platform, X, Twitter, Rumble, Kick, YouTube, TikTok. I have the only content out right now on the internet. So if you want to get some exclusive content here, um, follow this channel. I'll give you some things that nobody else is putting out anywhere on the internet. So I give all glory to the father. This isn't me. He leads me this information I'm just put, bring, giving the information that I found. So hopefully this is, again, something that you can draw from and you'll come back again and then hang out with the chat members. The, a lot of we have people keep coming in here and hang out and talk with each other. And that's good because sometimes I miss the chat. You know what I'm saying? I, I miss questions. And a lot of times, sometimes I'll even answer a question when they're talking to somebody else. They're not even talking to me. Um, uh so go, just go check out my content and see if you see it anywhere else on the internet. So I'm talking about the water overlay video. You're not going to find that anywhere else. It's what got my TikTok shadow ban, that, but it's up here on this channel now. So much love, guys. I'm doing it because the father tells me to do it. You know what I'm saying? Um, I know I'm going to be persecuted for doing it. I already am. I was attacked already. <laughs> so... Um, electronically, you know what I'm saying? In many ways, you know, that's why that guy's like, I don't understand it. You can't get your money back. You know, that's crazy. The guy got arrested. You filed police reports. You'll get your money back. Don't worry about it. This is, you know, and no <laughs> six, you know, five or six times they've tried to file it or whatever. They can't, they can't even file it anymore because they can't get to the system to load it anymore. I tried again. I was like, ah, I can't give up on this. I got to, you know, nope. Too many hours in it so much love guys thank you for your support of the channel and i'll see you guys on the next uh, i'll be back up here today we'll go out there we'll live stream while i'm working so you just get to watch me work i'll, I'll obviously commentate to the to the camera a little bit so you're not just sitting there watching me the whole time but um i'll be back at this tomorrow and i'll i'll show you these cabins and if you're interested in coming to stay the night out here probably be closer give me about another month to get at least one cabin done I will be giving a free cabin rental to to YouTube. One or two of the if you can make it out here to the to the West Coast if you're over here and you're in your if you're a subscriber to this channel, I'll definitely offer. We'll figure out a way, put some names in a basket or something. We'll figure out a way to draw to get a winner or two um, out here to come stay out here in the high desert. So should be a neat experience. If you love the stars. This is hands down the best place I've ever been on this earth and seen the stars. I've lived in Hawaii, been out in the middle of the ocean. I've lived in Alaska, you know, on top of the world. <laughs> so um, I've been around. I've seen these stars in this high desert are just some amazing. Again, 2.5 million acres was just designated as the largest dark sky sanctuary in the whole world, man. There's not a better place to see the stars. We're out of the light belt, 2.5 million acres. I mean, there are some good places, but this is definitely up there, guys. So what a what a slice of 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 heaven up there in the sky. Remember, I don't believe in none of that, but what a beautiful place to see. Sometimes, guys, this the Milky Way galaxy goes from the, you know, from the south 
west side of the property all the way to the northeast all the way diagonally sometimes it depends on what time of year it is it just it's incredible um and if you get the camera and you open that thing up and you film you know you it's you get this the craziest exposures out here and i'm telling you i don't believe in aliens i don't believe in aliens although i have a ufo in my front yard there's a ufo that crashed out here in my front yard if you guys have never seen it it's sitting out here but um I'm just kidding. I built it myself. But um, if you sit out here for one night, yeah, I'm the, you can't be the craziest guy in town unless you build a UFO, right? At the end of town. I'm that guy, right? Everybody runs away from me when I go into town. They're like, oh my God, here he comes, right? I'm that guy. <laughs> I love it. So, uh, so anyways, um, you can come out here from, from one hour and sit under these stars and see things that your eyes have never seen before. You can think whatever it is that you want, but you'll see things out here that you have never seen before. It won't even take an hour. You can stay out here for less than an hour. You'll see things that are like, whoa. So it's an amazing view. There's just too many stars and too much up there not to see something even in one hour. I've never sat on the stars out here in one hour and went and wasn't blown away by something that I saw. <laughs> it's pretty awesome it's pretty amazing it's like that every night out here you know you live next to the dump you don't smell the dump anymore you live next to the airport you don't smell the air we get a little numb to it out here guys but i try not to i try to every time i go out there i look up there and i stay you know it's just something it's something else man this is a beautiful place it's got a great view and the sunsets are like i've never seen in any other state either um so check it out look up silver lake oregon Look up Christmas Valley, Oregon. Look up this place. It's the oldest place. This is the oldest place in the Northern Hemisphere. They've already announced it. It, it could potentially be the, the oldest clothing on the planet. The oldest clothing anywhere in the whole wide world was found right here. Right here. They just found, again, an 18,000-year-old camel tooth in Riley. This place is biblical. And there is a... Here, I'll give you a little... Uh, I'll give you a, uh, I'll give you, if you do a little um, research, this place is known for having a, a tribe of red-headed giants. Red-headed giants that roam this valley and have roamed this valley for some time. Ooh, <laughs> so giants are real, aliens are not. So, I believe there are things here on the ground, but I don't believe in things in the sky. But you can come out here and look up this place. It's been on History Channel. PBS has done specials on this place. It's a very unique place, guys. It is very, very different. <laughs> you know, uh, there you go. There you go. So you know what I'm talking about. So it's just a recycle. There's a... Uh, no, the giants keep coming back. The stone, remember? Um, they talk about it. They're in their, uh, you just ate tacos. I had tacos too today. I had tacos twice today. I did taco Tuesday and I came home. I made some tacos. <laughs> I didn't get enough tacos. So I made them and I made bean burritos too. So tacos and burritos today for Tracy. I always eat. Somebody asked who my favorite food was. It's Hispanic food. By the way, I never answered that question. I apologize guys. I didn't answer that. So. Just when I'm trying to get out here, you guys fill the room up. So, I don't want to wake up either tomorrow. Um, Gen Zing, Gen Zing, but I do it too, man. I do it too. I don't want to be here tomorrow. I got to wake up tomorrow alone. You going to sleep tonight alone? Well, me too. And I'm going to wake up tomorrow alone. It's going to suck, but oh well. You know, we just got to push through this. It's only a lifetime, you know? Jack in the box burritos. Oh no, Jack in the crack. No Jack in the crack for me. No, you don't know what a demon is. I believe that aliens are real, brother. They they're demons. They put labels on stuff to distract us. You don't know what the you've never defined the word demon. That is the word demonion, a distributor of lies, just like you're doing. <laughs> you're lying. You're a liar. You've never studied anything. It's obvious you're just spewing, uh, 
nonsense. The word demon is a compliment, and the word demon is one who distributes fortunes. So where in the hell are you getting that with aliens? Nothing. You watch too much TV, and you just spew whatever the hell you want. Abyss is a place of no knowledge. That is the word hell. And that's why I'm using that word, because you don't, obviously, you just spew nonsense, whatever you see on television. So believe whatever you want. But don't sit there and define and take a word, demon, and put it with alien because they don't have the same definition. But you did. Just like you think a fallen angel is a son of God and a son of God is doing the will of the father. In order to be a son of God, your brothers and your sister and your mother are those that do the will of the father. Sons of God. A fallen angel is not doing the will of the father. He's fallen from grace. He's fallen angel from grace to the, oh, so no fallen angels are aliens. And demon doesn't have the same definition as alien does it. So no, an angelos, an angelos is a messenger. See, you got it all twisted. Too much Star Trek, too much Nanu Nanu Shazbot, too much Mork from Orc, too much Star Wars Anakin Skywalker, Anunnaki, too much nonsense. So that's okay. What's up, you spammer? <laughs> People, I guess that's what they love doing. So anyways, you believe in aliens if you want. If you want to believe in aliens, you can believe in aliens. Okay? I don't believe in aliens. I don't believe in a heaven in the sky either. No, I don't believe in heaven in the sky. That's not what the word heaven means either. You, 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 you think that you think that hell, right? You think that hell is, is is what? I just told you exactly what hell is. Hell is the place of no knowledge. Hell is the place of no knowledge. Abyss, busos, bathos, the word knowledge. The alpha negates the word that follows in the Greek. That's the Greek word that's in Revelation 9-11, that the, that's hell. That the they, that the Satan's locked up in the pit, 9-11. Abyss, the place of no knowledge. Mm. See, not what you thought, huh? <laughs> so, see, it's not what you believe, is it? It's not what you believe, huh? It's not what you believe, is it? Because believe isn't what you think. No, it's not. Believe is a verb. Faith is a noun. So it's not what you think, is it? Oh, I thought you believed in something. Hmm. Have you ever heard ever heard of the Anunnaki? Casper, you ever heard of the land of Anak where the Israelites were told to go scout out the giants in the land of Anak? Where the giants were? Have you ever heard of the land of Anak, the Anunnaki, where the giants were? Casper, the ghost? Did you have any idea what you're talking about? Have you ever heard of the Anunnaki? Yeah, it's biblical. It was called the land of Anak, where the giants were. Oh, you mean Anakin Skywalker? <laughs> you just love to throw, or you, you world just love to take and, and just pervert pervert you're perverted seeing the word it's called the hebrew word to froward you just watch too much television so giants are produced with sex to the guys you guys just love it you're all your television when the sons of god came into women of men you cannot be a son of god unless you're doing the will of the father a fallen angel is not doing the will of the father Hello, too much television, too much Star Wars, too much trilogy. <laughs> so. so there you go, guys. You're not about everything. Mr. Oh, so, oh, okay. So or, or some, oh, bro, chill. Yeah, you guys don't like that, huh? You don't like that, do you? You don't like definition is what you don't like. You like to take and make up your own definition. You won't define anything. Tartaria is real. 
it, the, the land of Anak. You guys are not even uh, men in back or real. Let me tell you, I've seen them. They're not human. Oh, okay. Go cool, read a couple of your messages. Burn your grid. Cool. You guys are, yeah, I love it. You guys, hey, you just wait. Mr. Trump's going to bring back your aliens and Mr. Musk. You'll get your aliens. You'll get your aliens. Don't you worry about it. You will get your aliens. Okay. You'll get your aliens and you'll get your, um, your Anunnaki and all that. And, and you'll fall for all that. And that's cool. Good for you. Cool. You probably believe grandma's dead and waiting for you in heaven too, right? And your dead mom's up there in heaven and your dead dad's in heaven and you're, right? <laughs> so, all right. Much love, guys. I just love, I just love, I just, you guys just keep watching your TV, keep getting on and keep believing everything you see on television. So, that's okay. Remember, guys, in this channel, we're not trying to change goat into sheep. No, nope, so don't worry. Nobody will change you. You can believe in your your sky daddy, God. Yep. And your Christmas pagan Jesus. Your Nimrod Jesus. The other Jesus that you were warned about. So, all right, guys. Much love. I'll see you guys on the next live stream. Again, those links are in the description. And if you'd like to come out to this area for the giveaway here in the next month or two you can come check out and maybe you'll see some aliens out here maybe some fallen angels will come in, in into the you can come over here and you can create you can create zeus's and and thor's and all your <laughs> so what do you keep talking about let's say this is my stream no me You're staying cool. All right, guys. Always agape. Thank you for your time. For those that are in the word. Uh, yes, religion is false. What is this? I've seen lots of aliens. Maintain Manhunter is a good friend of mine. <laughs> I've seen aliens. All right, much agape. I'm just trying to wait for these last few people. I know that... Uh, it's pretty cool. It's probably it's good. It's awesome to see how many people are just absolutely, uh, um, you're just, you just, you're going to, you're going to love the sky daddy show that they're going to, they're going to pull Mr. Trump, Mr. Trump and Mr. Mr. Trump and Mr. Musk got a show for you. You guys will love it. It'll be great. You guys will love it. And, and, and you'll it'll just, you'll be so entertained. It'll be so good. It's just the bread and circus show. will just go on and on and on. Okay, so um, <laughs> always agape, stay in the word.